Going live. Good. Okay. Excellent. Y'all are having a, a great day. Today is the holiday in the States, Martin Luther King Jr. Day. So a lot of people, if, if you notice more people than usual are streaming today from uh, from the U.S., that's why, because today is the holiday. All right. Okay. Heavy. Danver. All right. <clears throat> I just ordered a uh, uh, a tablet, tablet slash laptop, a few minutes ago from eBay. My uh, my card got declined initially. That's that's the first time that's happened to me in many years. Um, because <laughs> they're like, okay, you. You went to, you ordered a, a $20 thing from Amazon, then you went to Jack in the Box, and then suddenly there's this big charge for a laptop. Like, <laughs> what, is everything okay? Uh, but it's so weird that they, like, I I pretty regularly make purchases like that, and they've never, never declined me because of weird activity until just now. I don't know why, but, so that was, <laughs> that was the thing. Hey, Aperture. Welcome. Yeah, I need a uh, I need a laptop that will uh, the the battery will last more than half an hour, and even though I have like eight laptops, none of them it, either they either have a terrible keyboard or um, the the battery is like almost dead, or the battery is never good to begin with. Like my my Zephyrus, my my super thin laptop with a 1080 in it. That thing goes from full charge to zero in 45 minutes. <laughs> 45 minutes on that thing. Like, you can actually see the bar moving. Um, sitting on the desktop, if I load up, like, YouTube, it's even quicker. <laughs> and a game, forget about it. <laughs> can't, can't play a game off the battery in that thing. Oh, my God. I actually had it in... Um, uh, I was using it to to do the um, the overhead cam for the the Eye of Judgment stuff, and uh, the battery was at like five percent or something. And all I did was I had it plugged into power, but I launched OBS to to do the capture and send off the thing, and that was enough to to shut it off at five percent. <laughs> Shit. So so yeah, that that's why I needed a laptop. So I the one that I chose is a. Uh, uh, Lenovo X1 tablet, the third generation one. So it's um, it's like super thin. Uh, like here, here's an example of, of something similar. Uh, so this is this is a Samsung Galaxy Tab that I got from Goodwill. Uh, so this is a 10 inch. So the the Lenovo is like that much bigger, and it comes with a keyboard, uh, a flip down removable keyboard and a pen and all that um, but it's got like ultrabook insides to it and those are getting just old enough at this point that you can get the the really nice quad core version um for like a third of the price that it would have been new so the, that's that's what i grabbed and that uh that should hopefully serve me well and it will actually have a stream application because i am currently using a uh 
I am currently using an old... Why is this not... Oh, I didn't start the server. Come on. I am currently using an old Surface Pro right here. So, uh, for the Notes notes PC, and there's a bit of lag when I use it. So, this will will be replaced by the, um, the new Lenovo ThinkPad tablet. And then this I can replace with the Surface. So, that... Uh, That'll be the actual stream implications of, uh, of getting that device. Okay. All right. Enough yakking. Let's, uh, let's get going. So tonight, the plan is Rhapsody. We're going to play Rhapsody for, I don't know, maybe two to three hours. Uh, I don't know how much longer we have left in the game, but, uh, according to the story, we need to collect five crystal things and then, uh use them to to save the prince from the evil witch and we are like we're about to get crystal number four out of five and uh according to the manual we're we're past the halfway point in the the song list that's in the the lyric section of the manual so i don't know i don't know how much longer we have left in that one it's probably on the shorter side of those types of rpgs but but i don't know this is one of those rare occasions where I'm not actually going to look up the, a walkthrough for it and look up like where we are in the game because I'd rather I'd rather not know unless I know a game is going to be like 50 hours long. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's all that. And then after that, we're going to be doing Shivers, uh, starting up Shivers. That is a Windows 95 point and click uh, mist like. So it's a first person puzzle exploration game. Uh, extremely difficult. So yeah, that, that one's going to be a thing. I, I got it when it came out and I, I could not beat it. So maybe I can beat it now. We'll see. Uh, it's certainly going to be a challenge though. So. All right. But as always, Rhapsody Musical Adventure Part 4. And here's what happened last time on Rhapsody. So previously on Rhapsody. Previously. Oh my god. <laughs> Give me that XP. Oh no. Okay. Instantly kills an enemy. That seems good. Whoa, oh. I am the queen, the best you've seen, so worship me. Your Highness, largely we worship you as number one. I'll actually be kind of disappointed if the progression here is to go back to that restaurant again, because, man. It is? Are you... Yo ho ho. All right. Why is my OSSC not to... Uh... Hello? OSSC? Oh, it's the capture card. Okay. That explains that. But why is the capture card not... I... What? StarTech? Hello? StarTech? StarTech? There it is. All right. Weird that it does that sometimes. Okay. All right. Let's get her going. Okay.
All right. Lawrence Burr, I'm doing good. Hopefully you are as well. All right. Let's get the old controller monitor working. There we go. All right. I got to mute my TV. And unmute this. Okay. All right. <clears throat> All right. Yep. Uh, the old Jar Jar reference. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, uh, previously we. Uh, we found out we had to collect five crystals in order to save the prince. We collected the thunder, fire, and something else. So we're on the fourth one, which is the water stone. And we found out that it's on a ship that sunk under the sea. And we need to take a pirate ship to get there. And that's, uh, that is where we're currently at. And apparently there is, there's a song coming up probably soonish because it's called Amazing Pirates. So, sure. All right, we were told to tell this guy uh, that we know one of the girls at the bar. There you go, Ms. Karen. All right. So the game still hasn't gotten any more difficult since uh, since we started, and it's it's actually gotten easier in a lot of ways. Um, because I have one party member uh, that once he leveled up to to like level twenty eight, maybe this guy, he got this ability, bullseye. It instantly kills an enemy, <laughs> and it costs 20 MP to cast. So we have four casts of that, and we can always just refill his MP. Um, it isn't guaranteed to hit, but it hits enough uh, to, to still be effective. Okay. And the captain's under here, apparently. Takroff. Stop wandering around. All right. We're looking for booty while we're here. There is zero booty in this room. What the hell? That's actually rare that there's a there's a room with no no items. All right. Also, the game, uh, the game crashed on me yesterday. Uh, so that's that's also a thing that can happen with this game. Hey, Cloud. He did or didn't on the terrible day. Man, this game's getting real. That's Karen? Okay. Sure. Pretty sure she didn't have black hair when she was in the bar, but... <laughs> no, I don't, game. There might be an Atlas USA jingle in, in one of those. Yeah. Like, 
I, I still continue to not like the fact that this game just reuses rooms and and art assets all over the place. Like, have some variation. Man. Uh, yeah, this one it's just this one's just mirrored. <laughs> Come on. Ah. Is it another toad? There's a toad in here. Another toad. So that's another thing that they reuse. So so yeah, there's there's toads and random things. There's the I think we've already been in here. Hey look, another identical room. Uh, so the Atlas USA jingle, the, uh, the toads, there's the rotten flowers. Like, man. And, and of course the dungeons. The dungeons are all just palette swapped. Like, come on. Super Nintendo games didn't do that. NES games didn't do that. That's a trash can. That that looks like a barrel to me, but all right. Yeah, they they certainly made a lot of game with these assets, but still, this is we're eight hours in, and I'm pretty sure we're a long ways through the game. So I don't know. Oh look, another room, just like this. lives on this boat, apparently. Oh, hey. Another room. That's a calendar? I... All right. Is there another? Okay, I know the toad. Gameplay. All right, so we got a, a romance subplot in the pirate ship. Okay, finally a new room. There's so far been three unique rooms in this whole ship. Sounds like it's song time. Wait, is this a Titanic reference? We already had a Star Wars Episode 1 reference. Oh. Okay. Uh, 
This ship is watertight, apparently. Alright. Let's see if we can just circle button to victory. Like usual. Yep, we can. Alright. So, so far, this is... This has probably been the most effective party that I've been able to field. We got a really strong melee, uh, a really, really strong ranged, a caster, and then cornet. Sure. Oh, they're just painted on? Okay. That's reassuring. <laughs> Sick. There's the <laughs> there's the heel shrine in the dungeon. Nice. Okay, so if this is the same, the exact same layout as the the ship we were just in, then I'm guessing what we're looking for is on the top deck or the the upper part. Oh, it's not. Okay. All right, maybe the captain's cabin. <laughs> oh boy. All right. So... All right. Time for some more bromides. Okay, that one's pretty good. That one's not bad. Actually, I wonder if that the diary's readable. What? What? I... Why are there toads everywhere in this game? Okay. I think that might have been the room I was just in. This is this is just about how most battles go, by the way. I just hit that circle button to auto battle and the game just takes care of it. Ghosts. Alright. Toads? Alright. Ah, 
take out these two at least. Came from the the room on the right here, I believe. Yep. All right, so this is the only room left, and of course, it's the last one I go in. This is, this is the last room that there is to look in. Uh, okay, do problem with the fighter charm. Fighter charm is defense? Okay, sure. I have to go all the way back to the the captain's cabin now. There's a painting on the left now, and there wasn't one before. That was just a blank canvas. Painting? Sure. Okay. We got an AoE on him now. Oh, cool. Nice hit rate. Alright, that did 123 to the painting. How much HP does painting have? Looks like it's got about 1200 HP? And it looks like he can't move. So. 
I can probably just do this. This sure is a boss fight. Got him. <laughs> All right. I'm not butter. All right, now we get the musical number. I still don't have that that water stone though. Oh. Okay. Mary and Blue Cat. Okay. There's no pirate song? Hmm. According to the manual, there's a pirate song. Maybe I have to... She's already at what? She's already at low HP for some reason. Can I? <laughs> okay. Sure. What a fight. This is on normal difficulty. This is on the middle of three difficulties, by the way. Okay, apparently that was on purpose. song over with Karen. So it was this way. 
that way. Of course, we get into a fight right at the exit. So Mary was at the restaurant. And we want to give her the ring as well. Oh, that's her friend. Hey, Gander. You're late. What have you missed? Uh, let's see. We are about 25 minutes in. You missed the very short pirate ship dungeon where we found out that uh, one of the, the spooky ghosts that pirates that died uh, wasn't actually a ghost. It was just a spirit that was waiting for its friends to, to get over it. And then we did that. We fought an easy boss, got the... Whoop. Got the water stone. Um, we got a, a wedding ring, and we're supposed to give that to her. I guess. I... Sure. Uh, then we fought one of the uh, the witches. Uh, we fought the dog witch. Uh, that was also super easy. And then we're back in town, and and I guess that's the end of this of this quest. So we, uh... Yeah, so we have the fire, fire, water, wind, and thunder, and then we, we still need one of the other ones. And I'm, I'm not super sure where... Like, it, it's probably on this island here. But how we get there, I'm not sure. I probably have to go to that other pirate ship that's in the dock. But I want to talk to the wizard first before we uh, do anything else. I also want to save because this, this game likes to crash occasionally. But yeah, the, the game continues to be very easy. He also didn't miss any um, any songs yet. There's supposed to be a song called Amazing Pirates, but that hasn't hasn't come up yet. Even though we just did a pirate area. Water, fire, earth, wind, and thunder. So it's it's earth is what we don't have, I guess. Yeah, so we don't have the earth stone. Okay, earth stone. Okay. So there there's also this. Now that we've interacted with this and, and found out what that is... I want to go back to that early forest and try interacting with that identical puppet thing and see if see if it does anything different this time. Because that might actually be the where we get the growth stone. So that was in Wonderwoods and that was in the uh, the first south exit, I think. It was south from here and then to the right. Yeah, this thing. So previously, when we interacted with this, it would just make a noise and then disappear. Okay, so this is this is new. Lad Gem joined our party. Uh, uh, and this is like the Lord of Evil or something? It's got a star. Okay, so it's another caster. Huh.
weird. I can I could probably replace Terra with that thing because it's it's probably going to be stronger than Terra is. Probably. Uh, Ale Smith. Never heard of him. I'm not a beer guy though, so I wouldn't know anyways. My drink of choice recently has been those, uh, um, those flavored water additives. Like, man, I'm so glad I, I found out about those things. They're like, they're like three bucks for these little, little squirt bottle things that you just squirt into, um, some water. Are you kidding me? Oh my God. And there's kinds with and without caffeine and it's pretty much replaced soda for me. So I don't have to, um, uh, buy and store a bunch of soda anymore and there's no sugar or anything in them and it, it just it, they have enough caffeine in them that uh, I don't have headaches or anything from them and it, it keeps me up so those things are amazing alright so now that we got Latgen I wonder if there's anything new here yeah they're great like I use a uh, um, my uh, my refrigerator here doesn't have a, a water dispenser built into it so I just use this um, this large Brita pitcher with a, uh, a tap on the front of it just next to my sink and I keep all my uh, my flavored water things on that thing and <laughs> it's, it's very convenient so I can just fill up the, the cup of water squirt a little bit of the the flavored caffeinated stuff into it ready to go <laughs> my Shasta supply oh god Okay, so... So yeah, that, that's where we got the fire. That's where we got the, the underground one. This was lightning. Uh, water was underwater. Like, earth? Earth might be in there, or it's probably more likely like right here. Uh, so I'm gonna see if there's anything new with those uh, those things. Yeah, that's uh, that's all, pretty much only what I use my bird F for is um, is for combining it with the, the flavored water additive things, and it's great. It's way cheaper than soda, and it, for me, it, it tastes. Just as good. Paradise is Frogbird Kingdom. Visit you must. I'd like to. Okay. Okay, so that was that was the witch, the dog witch lady. Frogburg on the other side of the ocean. Can we go there? Red Hot. I thought we already resolved Red Hot. We've already resolved Oasis. Tails, white snow. Yeah, we've, we've been there too. Huh. Did I, uh. Did I already give up the one you're doing? Yeah, so we. Huh. Okay, so we're on, uh. On progression quest again, apparently. All the options are Shasta, yep. Yep. sure where to go from here. Cape Hope. Okay. That's new dialogue with him and it's about Cape Hope. So maybe there's something new there. 
Oh god, this is this is the lady who murdered a bunch of puppets. Okay, so we got new dialogue about Cape Hope, and we haven't had a reason to go there yet. So maybe there's something going on here now. Okay, no cutscene. So this is this is a teleporter mark. Or at least it's that's what it's been for every other time we've used one of those things. Okay, so we still can't interact with this. Um, I'm pretty sure that this is where we put those uh, the stones once we get all five. But we don't have all five yet, so... Huh. So there's there's another thing that uh, that I noticed a while back in the game here. In this area, um, in the center of the screen with all the suspension bridges, right Right across here, this. Which isn't showing up because my Telestrator is not connected. There it is. So that thing. This cave right there. This this clearly looks like something we should be able to enter. But... I... I can't do anything over here. So... Hmm. So it sounds like we need to go to the Frog Kingdom. And then the only way to get there is across the sea, from the sounds of things. And there's only one port that I can think of, and that's... That's the one in Blue Cat. Though... There is the... The other set of pirates here. So in here, this this guy was operating the ferry that took me to the other place. Okay. <laughs> All right. Nothing new here then. I, I wonder. I wonder. When in doubt. When in doubt. So this south is the cave of the woods. Okay, so we're we're looking for the earth stone. And that can probably be just about anywhere, I'm guessing. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're thinking what I'm thinking, huh? <laughs> when in doubt, go to this place. If the progression's here, then just shame on them. Shame, shame, shame. It probably isn't, but if it is... Uh... Okay, this is still the same event from last time. Okay. All right, so it isn't isn't the restaurant, or at least it, it isn't for now. There might be like another plot trigger we need to do to to get something to happen there again. <laughs> Still possible. Okay. So, let's see. I'm pretty sure I already explored pretty much all of that uh, that ancient ancient ruins, ancient woods, whatever it is, dungeon. This one. 
Ancient Forest. I'm pretty sure I covered all of that already. Um, so that, that we did. That we did. I guess we can, we can check in with Grandfather. Maybe, maybe he knows? We haven't been back here in a while. Oh, that's us. Nothing new here. There's always the the possibility of the palace, perhaps. But I'm pretty sure it's it's taking a boat to to Frogtown. Okay, so that's that's all the same as before. This is all the same. I assume we still can't go to the the Queen's quarters. Still can't do that. Uh, Yeah, it's, it's mostly been, um, no real direction. Like, uh, the most direction that we've gotten is, hey, go find these five things, good luck, and just talk to NPCs until something, something happens somewhere. But it, it usually is, like, talk to an NPC. And at this point, most of the NPCs are mentioning stuff that I've already did. And the only new thing has really been the the port over at Blue Cat here where they mention like hey go to the go to Frogtown you're gonna love Frogtown Frogtown's the cool place like this guy Paradise Frogbird Kingdom visit yes I'd love to and then this this guy yeah Kingdom called Frogberg on the other side of the ocean and then this guy talks about Red Hot that we've already resolved and he's just, he's blocking the, blocking the way. So unless, like, maybe I need to go back underground. Now that I've, uh, I've talked to, um, pirate lady in here. Older sister of the captain. Yeah. And her, we, we gave her the wedding ring. So perhaps now that I did that, I need to go back down to the hidden pirate ship here and maybe they'll take me to the Frog Kingdom for free, maybe? Because I helped them out? Like this is, I'm grasping at straws here, but that's, that's kind of my only real possibility at this point. Because there's no other spots on the world map that are new. So whatever the the next area is, we haven't unlocked it yet, apparently. Which is why I'm really hoping our pirate bros will will do it. <laughs> Shit. Okay, so it's not that. Uh. Hmm. Yep, good luck. So yeah, so far that's been the hardest part of this game, has been how do you progress the story? 
It's not the combat or any puzzles or anything. It's just progressing, finding the right thing to progress the story. Because other than that, the game practically plays itself. But then, if I if I didn't have to press the circle button, this game would be playing itself. <sighs> okay. So I guess, I guess I'm just going to revisit towns I've been to then. They mentioned Red Hot, so I guess we'll, we'll try Red Hot again. Like, it's also a possibility that I might be softlocked here. Monsters have taken over volcanoes. Okay. Because I... I killed the dragons. I killed the dragon for this area, and I also um, killed the guardian of the snow area. And and they were very upset about that. The NPCs did not like that I did that, but it still let me play the game. So I, I guess it's, it's a very small chance, but there is a chance that I might be in some weird... Uh weird soft lock dead man walking thing here. Okay, well this is this is kind of new dialogue. So they mentioned that monsters took over the volcano. So maybe there's something new in the the final area of the volcano now, but I I kind of doubt that. I doubt it's the Earth Stone. Hmm. Yeah, we're all saying good luck. Though they've... They've said that before. See, she's thankful that I murdered the dragon. One person in town is. Yep, and so is that guy. Everyone else is doomed. <sighs> okay, what about Oasis? I, I'm kind of in just talk to every NPC mode right now for lack of any other idea. We also haven't seen Etoile in a while since we we did the dungeon for this uh for this area. So this was the sandworm dungeon. The spice must flow. I didn't talk to most of these NPCs before, by the way. I just kind of left this town immediately because I already knew where to go. So maybe there is uh, some sort of progression thing that I missed here. But it doesn't look like it. And then this is just the item shop. Keep hope. Yeah, so they're they're mentioning Cape Hope, but there's there's nothing at Cape Hope for me to do. Hmm. And then down here.
Wait, does this let you do the, the worm dungeon again? Or actually, maybe there's a... Maybe the other stone is down here. And now that I, I defeated the worm, we can... Uh... Hmm. Maybe that's what it is. But I'm pretty sure we got some sort of stone from defeating the, the worm. Yeah, so it was that room that we just passed through. That's where the... That's where the worm eats you. There's just nothing here. Okay. Oh, geez. Okay. Yep, they have the good old pallet swap maze dungeons. My favorite. Nothing but right angles here. Hey, I went. Okay. That stairs. Stairs down. Sure, let's go there. Oh, God. This is actually a maze. All right, let's let's see what those other paths look like. So we came from the the south. Get ready for it. Atlas USA. Atlas USA. Why? What? What is the purpose of that? Is, is it what? Atlas USA. What is the purpose of that? I. <laughs> There's got to be some reason. There's got to be some in game reason for that. All right, we found reality. Uh. I die a little bit every time I hear that. All right, let's check north first. Oh, great. Okay. <sighs> Actually, reality, according to... According to the description, reality recovers you from philanthropy. <laughs> sure. Oh, this, maybe this is the dungeon I'm supposed to be in. Because these, these are actual decent level monsters. I'm also not sure if this game is non-linear or not for for this part. Like maybe you're able to do the Sure. Oh. 
Okay. Alright, I gotta remember where we've been now. Please don't be an Atlas USA chest. Okay. Alright. Get ready for anime. Alright. There is Quatra from Gundam Wing. All right, so we explored the north half. And nothing really doing there. South two rooms. This is probably the way to the staircase if it's like any of the other floors. So the staircase is always on the left in this dungeon for some reason. Unless there's another one over here. Okay. I don't know. I'm still... I'm actually not even sure why I'm bothering to pick up most of these chests. Because I don't even use items in this game. I haven't had a reason to use items yet. Maybe there's there's more illustrations. I guess that's that's probably the only real reason I'm opening quest chests at this point. Is maybe we'll get some some hot cartoons out of it. Yep. And you don't need to heal in this game, really at all. Because uh, every time you level up, you get all your HP and MP back. And you level up so frequently that you never really are in danger. And there's also those, um, those free healing statues all over the place. Better be an earth stone waiting for me at the end of this dungeon. Oh man. Is this That just took me back to the mine. Okay, so it's not that. And this was the... This is the in Enotium mine. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, so it's not that. There's still the possibility of the ancient forest, but I... I kind of doubt that. Ice Temple would be something. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah that's right. This town is upset at me because I, I murdered their guardian. Yeah, I saved, I saved Albert's mother. 
but I doomed the town now. <laughs> Whoops. So this was the last, like, main town that we did before the, the pirate thing. Well, they already let me in. Okay, so the whole town is upset at me, but it'll be fine because I can just I can just play my horn. And they're they're gonna love it and pay me. Unless there's something unique that happens here. If you do this after you doom the town. Nope, they still love it. Oh, wait. <laughs> okay, they gathered around just to ignore me. Nice. <laughs> okay. Perfect. So nothing, nothing doing in that town. Uh, so we already checked Red Hot. We checked Oasis. We checked White Snow. We've been through Blue Cat. Top to bottom so far, I think. But I, I'm still pretty sure we have to catch a boat here to, to the Frog Kingdom. It's gotta be. This is like a whole nother area. Okay, that's the, the puppet. Yep, drown the puppets. Okay, is there anything to the south here? No. Uh, all right. by the ancients. Okay. Ah, okay. Pirates are going over to Caro Caro. There we go. There's our progress. I just... Ugh. I didn't talk to that guy, apparently. Okay, talk to her. Anything new here? Okay, so now the pirates down at the docks. Either at the docks or at the underground ship will likely take me. Okay, I guess we're going back underground again. Nothing new there. Oh boy, okay. Okay, all right, this is new. Do you want to come with? Yes, all right. 
Finally. Okay, get ready for pirate song, apparently. Or not? Oh. They don't talk like Jar Jar. Or at least that one doesn't. Maybe it was the one... Just the one nowhere in the port. Alright, the centaur. Boo boo and a baby. So going, sure. Yes. Yes, yes, no. Okay. Okay, so Cat Witch is gonna be our adversary here. Well, so far, there's there's zero reason to need money in this game, so... I'm just gonna keep my monsters. Maybe in hard mode, it becomes more of a big deal that you, uh... that you need money in the game, but... so far, not at all an issue. Okay. Alright, Boo Boo and Bebe over here, apparently. Baby. All right, three boo boos and one baby. Sure. All right, we'll we'll keep him back there. Horn it and horn. Her there. Right here, right here. Scalibur. Hey, baby! Yep, the best part of Overblood 2. We might have to play through Overblood 2 again at some point. That game's too good to not play again. Dang, I might actually have to get serious for this one.
much damage to that too. Eh, they don't have that much HP. I was thinking I might have to to get out the hilarious special attacks, but probably not going to be needed. And yeah, really, I I think for a lot of like the specialty replays like that, I'm probably gonna wait until the OSSC Pro comes out for a lot of those. Um, so if you haven't heard, uh, a few days ago the OSSC Pro was uh, announced. So I'm currently using a regular OSSC, which is already a really good device for capturing. Um, uh, consoles older than than like uh, Xbox 360 and PS3 so analog consoles um, and the pro is uh, going to be the model that um, not only does like really old consoles well but it'll also do uh, PlayStation and, and PS2 uh, era uh, era games a lot better because it's um, it actually does proper real deinterlacing because it has a, uh, a scaler this time rather than just a line doubler. So it can work with the whole image rather than line by line, which is what the current one does, which is why you can only do um, uh, pretty simple deinterlacing on it. And you can see the image bobbing up and down, like here. Here's an example. So we're currently in progressive scan mode, 240p. And then for the illustrations here, the game switches over to interlaced mode. Um, and you can see it says 525i, and you might be able to tell the image is, is bobbing up and down very slightly. Um, when the OSSC Pro comes out and, and I switch over to that, uh, it won't do the bobbing thing anymore. It'll just be a perfect high-resolution, clear image. Like, I could do that now with this weird setup that I came up with, but it's, it's kind of a pain in the ass having to do that setup because it involves, like, getting another computer out um, I have to pipe the OSSC feed through another capture card to that computer. I have to process the image on that computer and then send it out to everything else. And it's just, it's a huge pain and I'd rather not do that. And I won't have to with the, the OSSC Pro, so. So for stuff like that, I'd rather just wait for that. And the other cool thing about that is that um, there's actually going to be an HDMI in on the OSSC Pro, which the, the current one doesn't have. So that'll that'll even more simplify things for me. Because I currently have... Uh, I go from the OS... So the, the console... Let's just say for the PlayStation. PlayStation to my, my TV. The TV to the OSSC. The OSSC to an HDMI 1.4 splitter. Uh, the HDMI 1.4 splitter to a HDMI 2.0 splitter. And then that goes to my TV and then my capture cards. <laughs> and that's just that's just one part of my setup for capturing all this stuff. And with the OSSC Pro, I can eliminate one of those splitters. So I'm looking forward to that. So on top of all the other all the other nice processing improvements that'll come with it. It'll also help simplify some of my ridiculous setup here. But I'm not sure when those are actually going to be released. Um, and I'm probably going to have to literally build it myself. Uh, otherwise, I'll, it, it'll cost, cost more than it needs to. So there's probably going to be a stream... Probably like a six hour stream of me uh, assembling the circuit boards for uh, for my OSSC Pro at some point. So look forward to that incredible stream content of me getting out the, the magnifying glasses, the microscopes, the, the hot air machine and all that should be very exciting. 
Because I actually, I enjoy doing that kind of stuff. It's just really time consuming, but I, I do enjoy doing it. Okay. I'm getting the feeling I'm going in circles here. Hot air in my hand. Yeah, well, that, that, that can happen. That sure can happen. All right, illustration. Never tried hot air. Hot air is incredible for for SMD stuff. It is it is a game changer. It's so easy to to do things with hot air compared to regular solder. Um, like it, it's made for surface mount stuff, but you can actually do through hole stuff with it too. You just gotta be careful with how long you're heating things. And it, it's so good. The, the only real problem that I've had with hot air stuff is that if you, you get what you pay for with them sometimes. And uh, I think one of the ones I bought, it was like 40 or 50 bucks that I paid for it. It worked literally twice and then it broke. The, uh, the old hot air gun that I got. So I got a slightly better one this time. And this one so far has, has lasted much longer. Sexy snake girl bromides, well. Maybe? There's a, there's no aim. Oh god, I did go in a big circle. Unless, it, wait, unless that's a different screen. That just happens to look like the same screen. Nope, it's the same screen. Alright, well, at least we can heal here. <laughs> the problem with, with snake girl bromides is that there's no exposed ankles. Unless, like, the tail part of Snake Girl is all ankle. In which case, hey, that works too. Yeah, how dare I suggest that this game reuses assets. Yeah, I already have a heat gun for, uh, uh, what did I use it for? Heat shrink? Heat shrink tubing? But now I have a proper, proper SMD reamer work heater that has different uh, tips on it. And I didn't used to have one. I, I'm trying to remember what I got one for. So I also have a desoldering gun, but that that thing is is kind of broken on me. It doesn't um, it doesn't do any suction anymore, which is kind of an important thing to, to have for a desoldering gun. So that thing, I need another one of those. Um, I think I got my hot air machine for uh, for the Virtual Boy capture card. I want to say. And I still have to build another one of those. I only have one working board. The, uh, the other board, for whatever reason, I just can't get it to work right on my Virtual Boy. And I need to have two of them so that I can do stereoscopic Virtual Boy capture from when we, when we do the Virtual Boy streams. It's very important that I record those games in 3D. So at some point, I'm going to have to order another board. I'm probably going to order it at the same time that I order my OSSC Pro boards. Because I have to get those um, get those manufactured in China, because I don't really... There's there's a, an American-based company... Uh, okay, progress. American company called... Uh, uh, oh, shit. Osh Park. Prepare to feast, okay. Um, but Osh Park is like their quality has gone so far downhill that uh required to use cardboard to watch it no I, i'll also stream in in 2d so the so the regular stream will look like this and you'll just get one one eye of it and then at the same time i'll also be recording and streaming in 3d uh using the same feeds same thing for 3ds as well um uh, 3DS is the same thing. Like, there'll they'll be a 2D version of the stream. 
and then also recorded and streamed a 3D version. That if you do want to watch it, it with the cardboard or a Vive or a, a, an Oculus or any of those things, you can. And you can see the games that the, the way they're supposed to be. He rates my wife. Left dog. Okay. Sure. Ubu and Bebe had like 100 HP. It was this... Yeah, Osh Park used to be pretty good, but man, I've had nothing but problems with a lot of their boards recently. Uh, so now the there's there's two two primary ones that uh, people use now. There's JLB PCB, and I forget what the other one is. Um, and you can actually get like JLB PCB from start to finish. Uh, get your order shipped from China, like order sent, processed, manufactured, and shipped out in 24 hours and have it in your hands like two days after that for like 10 bucks total. So it's it's cheaper than Osh Park. It's, uh, it's faster than Osh Park. And it's, uh, it's better quality than Osh Park. So... <laughs> there there really aren't that many reasons to, to use them anymore unless you really want to buy American for stuff like that then then that's pretty much your only option um, otherwise like the services like JLB PCB I just they're just better in actually every way do I like it yes sure where's our musical number A 3D thing for a dollar? Well, it'll work then. The uh, uh, I did a lot of testing with the 3D stuff already, and it, it, it looks fine. Um, the only thing that I won't be recording in 3D is uh, like Vive, um, Vive and PSVR stuff in 3D, because that that'll just make you motion sick immediately, because there's no real good way to uh, to record that. All right, frog time. Time. This must be amphibian paradise. So what do I think? I give this one out of 10. That's a feels good man. Feels good man out of 10. All right. You have horn. All right. So right after eating all this all this horrible food, please play your, your trumpet for us.
Time to ransack the palace. All right. Wait, this this looks an awful lot like. <laughs> uh... So it, there aren't doors back here, but it is otherwise palette swap. Other other palace. Uh, oh my god! Yep. It, Well, at least they let us in here, unlike the other palace. Ah, there's a toad in here. What? In the book? Sure. Another! You get a book, and you get a book! Hearing Africa in the music? No? You mean the Toto song? I'm gonna say no. I, I really like that. I unironically enjoy that song. And no, not hearing it. Are these statues we can talk to? The frog statue, okay. We can get blessings from those. Popular among the frog people? Okay. Yeah, they reused this castle from from the the first area of the game. Yep, it's it's got a slight palette swap and a little bit different layout, but uh, yeah, it's also reused. I get we shouldn't be surprised though at this point. Room. Yeah. Oh. All right. Time to go steal their most sacred relic and doom their whole kingdom. there's more things to do here. Yeah, so even the throne room, <laughs> it's, just, it's green instead of, uh, I think it's like, it's red, I want to say. Oh, man. Incredible. So this is new. This is slightly different layout. that I'll never use. All right, 
Hopefully it unlocks. It didn't? Uh... Huh. I thought there was supposed to be some... I'm supposed to get the water stone from somewhere. Maybe they do want you to... Oh. Special friend, I see. Stone, all right. Now we're talking. Yeah. Progress. I'm still bummed that the frogs don't talk like Jar Jar. Certain death at the hands of the centaur, but sure, we'll go. of Gamma. Okay. So this is probably... Alright. So this is a standard... Standard ruins tile map, it looks like. No... No color applied to it. 
man. Really hoping that we see another unique variation to this. <sighs> oh, God. Okay. I can already tell this dungeon's going to be horrible. Yeah, it's like every other every other room is gonna be a different a different tile map or a different color. All right. Sure. Give him the business. Oh. Oh. Well, that works. Very difficult combat. <laughs> Alright, I might have, might have to employ the, the purry method here of dungeon navigation. There's the centaur. All right, let's do it. Hey. <laughs> okay. whole damage. Dang.
Bullseye let me down. Probably just kill me. This. combat. Okay. Cool dungeon. Okay. Alright, there probably isn't anything else of note here. So, just work that out. Okay. Very exciting. Save here. by death. Okay, we'll uh we'll be leaving now. But first we gotta check in with with the frogs. Okay. Alright, cue the happy music. There we go. Alright, later. Okay, so we got all five uh all five of those things. Let's check in with the wizard. Because I assume we have to tell the wizard that we got all five, and then... Oh, we got a cutscene here. Yeah, we uh we gained access to the the frog area dungeon. We killed the centaur, took the earth stone. And then some frog business happened. Oh, 
And now we're back at the, the Tower of Wisdom to check in with the wizard about the stones. But now Cat Witch is here. See if we can end this one early. <laughs> Dang it. Miss. Interesting. Maybe this is the fight you're supposed to. Interesting. This magic almost never misses, so this might be a fight you have to escape from. Okay. All right, let's let's give her the flan. The hilarious flan attack. Okay, that's missing too. So this must be like a a turnout fight. Unless, like, Bullseye does hit occasionally. But I'm guessing not. Huh. And I don't think... No, I haven't used Panic Cake yet. I haven't used it. Yeah, I'm not sure, uh... I'm not really sure what to do. This is, uh, this must be, must be her. That, uh, that certainly looks like her. Okay. going on uh are the stones safe I'm assuming I still have them even though we got knocked out yep there's all five. Sure.
I'll repeat it again, you idiot. That alone is not enough. I don't know. One more time. Beauty Castle. Okay. Yeah, so this is literally Alundra. Ah, true love. suit. Literally, Alundra continues. Okay. Oh, so that's that's Cornet's mother. Is the the angel and also Kuru? Oh, what a coincidence! <laughs> okay. Time paradox. Take some items from. That cat's still up there on top of the bookshelf. The 
ancient weapon. Okay. There's books there? All right. Sure. That young, what's her face? Probably the enormous anime eyes. So by the way, I just looked at the manual and there's only one song left with lyrics and it looks like an ending song. So we might be beating this game <laughs> soon. -ish. I wasn't expecting to, but I think we might. I didn't hit anything. It just... That's actually a way better version of that song than the other ones. She probably went to the forest, and we can't go to the forest.
He keeps his weapons in the kitchen, naturally, even though there's some on the wall in his workshop. But all right, this must be decorative. So this, this door was locked, I think, when we, we came by here very early in the game. So I think this is new. Yeah, that's that's the uh, the minister, the evil vizier. Gar Garzolo, I think, or whatever his name is. No way we'll be able to feed it, but I have an instant, a one shot ability. Wait, it is what? It's okay, it's Wall's got this. Alright, get him. Dang it. Bullseye, don't let me down. Ugh. Man, 60 damage. Man. One of these days, that spell's gonna hit. Might as well just do this. This work. Uh, the game's been okay. 
it's been extremely easy. But it seems we're we're probably pretty close to the end because we've run out of nearly all the songs in the manual that have lyrics. And I've already collected a lot of the the main quest item stuff, or all of them from the from the looks of things, so probably gonna be beating the game in the next two hours, I guess. Alright, very difficult boss. Okay. <laughs> and she still dies. Oh. Alright, this turns into Dragon Ball. Okay. Sure. And now she's going to steal her soul and put it into the, the Kururu doll. Still don't get the full version of the song. All right. The truth. The horrible truth. Your mother is a zombie. Gate of the Netherworld? Uh... So it sounds like that's an optional... optional dungeon. Okay, I was, I was thinking of where that would even be, and that's probably that room that we were just in in the dream. That key probably unlocks that locked door and that, uh, that underground pathway. No.
See? Alright, so that's probably over here then. This is it. Yeah, this thing. Oh, well, it's, it's open now. Uh... Hey, maybe it is... These are these are level twenty four. So these these are of the appropriate level, so maybe this is correct. Huh. Using the purry method here. Sure. All right. Look at these. Twenty six, yeah. Like, I'm super over-leveled, but 26 is about what the other ones were that I was just fighting in the, the frog area. Okay. Good thing Terra leveled up to negate all that damage that she just took. Continually going down, straight to hell, I guess. All right. This better not be like 99 floors, but it's kind of looking like it. I lost count a while ago. <laughs> oh god. Maybe I should check and see what's on those the rooms off to the side. If there's like sets of chests on every floor or something. It's in the, the chest. Really high encounter rate here, too. Okay. 
What's over here? Is it just more stairs? There, there are things. Wow. Okay. Reduce magical. Oh man. Okay. All right, agility. Maybe if agility affects uh, hit percentage, then. Whoa, man. Maybe it does. If it does, then... Nice. Sanic shoes. Shit, I can't remember which which way did I come from. Okay. So these are what level are these now? So these are level thirty two. They're just they're getting these levels are getting up there now. Dang, I'm not even one-shotting these anymore. All right. Are you finally finding the, the challenge in this game? Is it this optional, presumably optional dungeon? I might actually have to heal first time in a while. Uh, nope. I don't. As it turns out, nope. Okay, well, we'll just... We'll just keep going down. Oh, uh, okay. Extra long loading screen. Okay, I'm gonna save to a different slot here. The nether- oh, this is the nether world. Okay. Good. I am in the right place. <laughs> okay. All right. We found it. Okay, there's that thing that we never used, but we got. Okay. Cool items over here, at least. I'm assuming that's a teleport out. There it is. Okay. Let's, uh... 
actually heal up. Alright, everything else looks fine. Alright. Oh, that's it? I, uh... Uh... So where did that go? And we're back at the entrance? What? I... What? What? Wait, did I need to get... To bring Kuru there or something? Do I have to do that again? Yeah, I... Uh. Huh. I... Uh. Fucking hell. Nice dungeon. Right, go back this way. This is the quicker way to get back. I... Huh. I don't know what all that was about. But at least we know the way there. Now. I'll leave that save just in case. But... Uh... All right, maybe I'm gonna go back in town, talk to talk to grandfather, see if he's got any info on that thing, on the ancient weapon. Okay, nothing new there. Yeah, at least it was 99, but we didn't really accomplish much of anything besides. Getting rid of that puppet that we never used. Where's Kuru? Uh. Messenger fake out of darkness. Fate watches over monsters. Connected to the Fates World, yeah. So we already, we already did that. We already dropped off the the other one. So. I don't know if I was even supposed to go to that that dungeon, but sure, fine. Oh. Nice, Durgan. Alright, give it the bullseye. Dang it. It's almost dead already. All right, I guess we're circle buttoning to victory. Nice. Very difficult. Okay. Yeah. 
Game, end game bosses. This uh, a little disappointing. Should unlock the the teleporter, I guess, in the the center area. Uh, okay. There's no visual change there, but okay. So he's probably going to... Oh my god. So that... I'm probably going to have to go all the way to the bottom of that dungeon again. After this. I... I was just thinking, like, do I need to go back... Uh, go back down to, to heal up? But uh, my, my health looks fine. All right, we'll save over the Ermagerd undergird path. Save. All right, we finally got a new, a new dungeon template here. It's just a palette swap of the other one, but, but at least this one's a slightly different pal palette swap. Are we actually in for a challenge here? 31. These have quite a bit of health. Okay. Should I use the hilarious pancake attack? Like the back of the box describes it. Decent amount of XP, at least. Okay. Oh boy, this uh, is counter it though. I'm not sure I even want to fight most of these, but let's see if this lands with any regularity. Okay, let's. Well, 
pancake all enemies. All right, we haven't seen the cake attack yet, so let's... No. Well, let's, let's hold off on that then. Why does the computer do that? It, it moves into the one space that the other melee characters need to get to. Sure. What does that do? Is that a, a one-hit kill? Firepower. Okay. Try going right first. Okay. direction is they going here?
up and then to the right. Mega Meteor. All right, so we got a an upgraded AOE Meteor spell for her. Yo. Okay. 66 MP to cast that though. That's <laughs> I can't be using that all the time. It looks like. All right, so hopefully this is forward progress and not. Accidental backtracking. Uh... Nice. dungeon. So I came from the left, I want to say. Oh, oh, geez. Back to this. Okay. Well, that that's probably progress. Okay. Can I heal with? Oh. Okay. That statue does not heal us. Lame. Okay. Avoid the purry method. Well, she knows that I have an egg with a bow. All right, Marjoli. Do I have to fight all four of them? I do. Okay. All right. All right, Bullseye. You got this. No, oh, man. All right, unless this is one of those fights that you're supposed to lose. Okay. I might have to employ the hilarious pancake attack. Pancake attack all enemies. All right. Are you ready for what, according to the back of the box, is the hilarious pancake attack? That one. 
That was pretty funny. Okay. Not worth it. That was pretty hilarious. All right. Omega Meteor. Oh, that hits everything? Wow. All right. And then circle button to victory. That's only half of her health down, by the way. All right. And she hits like a truck. Eh. song. Oh. Okay. battle. you up, thankfully. The prince heals you. <laughs> Is the everything heals you in this room apparently Okay, Bullseye. Let's do this. I 
guess I could just I'll make it be weird from back there, but sure. Bullseye. Come on, Bullseye. You got this. Ugh. not going to do anything. Dang it. I wonder if it's... I don't think this is a scripted guaranteed miss, because I hit with magic right there. Interesting. Okay, so I guess I, I should be attacking him. I just want that to land so badly. Come on, Bullseye. You got this. Ah! <laughs> That's time to shine, Bullseye. Oh, come on. I wonder if it gave me a free heal. That's a lot of damage. Okay. Alright. And there's no free heal either. Oh boy. Okay.
Quall's gonna be our tank, it seems. Damage from a poison might be useful for this fight. But hopefully I can poison this thing. Of course not. It's a boss, so why would poison ever work? Hang on. You left that character. Attack. We haven't seen this one yet. <laughs> I did that. Oh, it didn't kill. Dang. That would have been great if that killed. Twall got the kill steal. Okay. Finally, a fight that actually felt like a fight in this game. It's a shame it took until the literal end of the game, I'm assuming, literal end of the game for it to happen.
Uh, are we stuck in the bad ending because I, I killed all those guardians? Oh, no. Straight to this, huh? Oh, I see frogs in attendance. They're all here. Yeah, most of the frogs are in attendance. <laughs> we have okay, we have control here. All right. Optional super boss is the wedding. Oh, okay. This clearly means the game isn't over then. Okay, we still have our party. We can save. Okay. Sure. Alright. You over here? No. Nope. Can't leave. We can leave? You can't leave. Oh, okay. Oh, man. Yeah, we, we got to make our way back to the restaurant through here. <laughs> Dang it, we can't. Don't do it. Uh-oh. So she was actually an angel? This whole time? That possessed a doll? That's just some like ancient or something.
We'll see each other again in hell. For what you did to those guardians. doing that weird thing where she talks to puppets again. <laughs> what did I get myself into? <laughs> okay, we did it. That was pretty short for an RPG. Man, 11 hours, huh? And at least, like, an hour of that was running around being lost. At least an hour. And I'm guessing that that, uh, that... Thank th you, my love. I thank you from my heart. You filled my life with melody and song. You are the one. I tell story too it's just begun our love will last forever we'll share our lives as one we have shared the laughter and tears through all of the years we will say goodbye just for now till we meet again thank you my love thank you over and over it warms my heart just to say it again thank you my dear it's so hard just to say goodbye tear and a smile thank you my love with all of my heart you gave to me a reason to
Shout outs to Roland. Hey, Saint. So they had eight people working on the. Thank you, Kururu. Thanks, Mom. So it's probably going to let... Oh, still more. So there's probably a a a save thing after this because they they let you look at bonus content. Yep, the name is Finn. <laughs> okay. It doesn't let you save. Interesting. Okay. So I'm wondering if this lets you If it lets you do the Japanese versions of the songs in this, because I'm curious if how different those sound. Uh, like what? So we we never heard Amazing Pirates in the game, by the way. At least I don't remember it, and it's one of the short songs. So. sure where this song would be because I We are the fearless pirates pirates we are the most amazing pirates pirates we hunt the sunken treasure in the ocean, ocean. when we get some burn we put on lotion. lotion this is the life of the pirates the stars will guide our way we are the fearless pirates 
pirates, pirates, we are the most amazing pirates. I, I recall we, we have heard. All right. Fascinating. Fascinating game. So there's also the illustrations. And I think, I think you don't even have to unlock them in the game to see them in here. Yeah, because a lot of these we, we never got in the game. Oh man, there's Angelic Kuru. Alright, image one. Yep, so we, we definitely got that one in the game. Okay, so that's the, the very, very beginning of the game where you get attacked in the forest. Yeah, you get attacked by by Cat Witch and the Dragon, and then the Prince saves you. Yeah. Interesting. Is there... Okay. Actually, we, we could have scrolled this one, it seems. Alright. There's Quatra from Gundam Wing saving you from the Dragon. Okay. So this one we saw. Then getting kicked out of the castle, stalking the prince, trying to join the fan club. Yep. This is... This is like three plus hours of the game summed up in, in this. Okay. Oh man, there's, there's the bear suit. Wait, so it looks like she's wearing it as a cape in this, but she's clearly not in the game. She is straight up wearing the bear's skin. That's pretty good though. All right. <laughs> okay, I wonder if they have this for the whole game. It didn't look like it in the in the menu, but... Jeez. Okay, that's when the prince gets kidnapped. She vows to save him. Alright. Oh, then we just get character illustrations. So there's... There's our boy... Uh... The arrow guy... Whose name I already forgot. Tell. Tell. There's Tell, there's Kid, and the middle is the one I never used because you didn't seem very useful. So that's a bear, apparently. According to the game, that is a bear. I, I'm not so sure. That is some sort of enemy? Sure. Uh, that is, that's Shart. That's, that's our very first doll, Shart. She starts rainbows all over things to do damage and is also a healer, I think, but you never have to heal in this game because it's so easy. <laughs> uh, there's Tara, her sister, who we did actually use. Uh, sure. Yeah, there's Tell again. And Kid. That's, uh, the other one that we used. Can't remember the name, though. Sure. Yep. Yep, there's that thing. Still not sure what, what that, that whole thing was all about in the netherworld, but 
It was probably some optional dungeon that I just... I didn't meet the requirements for, didn't do properly. Uh, that was the dragon. So we, we killed that dragon's mother. Both the, both the parents, and then we took that dragon and then didn't do anything with it. That was from the... That area. Okay, apparently it turns into that at some point. Uh, sure. Well, some of these are just enemies, not not really puppets. Though they could be our puppets. There's a chance that they join your party if you beat them in battle. Like this, this is just a regular enemy, but we beat it in battle before. <laughs> Duke and the other two puppets to fight that Netherworld boss. Oh. Huh. So if I went into that room with that party, I would have been able to fight the the red red robot at the bottom. Interesting. I'm not sure how you'd ever figure that out, but sure. That's probably one of those like, hey, look up in the magazine or a strategy guide how to do this. Yeah, uh, this certainly looks like Nipponichi style monster design here. This, these would fit right in there with the Disgaea. Alright. Huh. These illustrations would have would have been great in like the the manual. These would be something like straight out of a, a Nintendo manual. Alright. Okay. Some of this anime art. Happy New Year. <laughs> okay. Sure. Happy New Year from... NIS. And here's here's where you put I'm with stupid There we go. And stupid is crew. Okay. Sure. That that says something. Probably GG, it says. All right. There sure are a lot of... A lot of art of this thing, but this thing hardly plays into the game at all. All right. More Christmas art? Sure. Just just a lot of a lot of dank art they give you in this game at the end, apparently. Okay. You can get some wall scrolls of this from from NIS. Fill out a mail order form. Marl K D. Sure, Marl Kingdom. Okay, she's got she's got dolls of all the main characters. Sure. Yeah, they, they spent all their time working on this when they could have made dungeons that didn't all look the same and just palette swap everything. <laughs> that, that's... Okay, that... During the credits, there were eight people credited as doing um, background art or background and scenery art. Eight people worked on all that and they still managed to reuse assets for almost all of the dungeons. Man... Just come on. They had the the most people. Yeah, the field map section. 
the most people listed in there besides the Japanese special thanks was the artists for the, the, the dungeons. And even with eight people working on that, like, they, they still did a super shit job. Like, maybe they thought, like, oh, man, those ones we already made are perfection. We can't, uh, we can't improve on them. All right, we also have a duck. A duck with the crown, sure. That's some good art. There's our epilogue. All right, this just keeps going. They just, <laughs> they really went nuts on the, the extra illustrations for this game. Yep, this, and I'm not sure all of these are like concept art either because they, they all look pretty much the same. There's nothing here that I see too different from what made it into the, the final character designs. Oh, okay, this is different. She's got a beret and also this dress thing. Okay, and that's the same one, except slightly different. Is that it? Uh, that must be the last one. Okay. All right, we survived all the illustrations. There's card image. Okay. Sure. All right. We survived another JRPG. Okay, place your bets for what the, the save icon is. So whether or not there's multiple variations of save icons and what the icons would be. I'm betting that this game does not have unique save icons. And if I had to guess, the save icon is probably... I think it might be one of the cats. Uh, I, uh, I'm i going to go with it. it might be one of those cats from earlier in the game. I think it's the cat. It's It's got to be the cats. All right, let's see. All right. A final answer for me. It's it's only there's no variations, and I think it's one of the cats. Let's see. Oh, it's just cornet. Oh, there's the prince. Okay, so there are variations. I I'm not sure what what triggers the variations, but okay, it it's cornet. The prince, and probably if we fill up the memory card, we can we can probably get other or other main characters as well. But there we go. There's uh, there's those. Yeah, those are those are pretty good uh, save icons. So so they put more effort into the save icons than they did in the dungeon design. Whoo. Okay. Sure. All right. I'm gonna cut the timer here on uh, on this one. Okay. 11 hours 30 minutes let's uh let's wrap up this one all right rhapsody huh rhapsody two to 11 slots to save i don't think so i i think it's just one yeah one memory card block per save so only one all right uh Okay, completed? Yeah, totally. Yep. Cheated? Absolutely not. Didn't have to. This game was extremely easy. Uh, the hardest part of this game was trying to figure out how to progress the plot, so I did not have to cheat this one. Um, I didn't even look up like an FAQ to see generally how long this game was or where I was in it, because I, I felt this one was probably short enough that I wouldn't have to, and I was right. All right, things I liked. Uh, cute art style. Cute art style. Is, is my peepo just not even working? All right. So things I liked. Cute art style. Um, the 
most of the sung live music was great. Uh, I also liked a lot of the um, soundtracks that weren't the the sung sing song things. Um, I liked that the uh, the the game was accessible. So on a positive note, the game was accessible. So there's a lot of quality of life things like being able to hit the circle button to just auto combat. That was nice. Um, what else? It was a bit on the shorter side for an RPG, but I personally like the shorter RPGs. So this 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 is fine it, as in my book. Um, let's see. A lot of the writing was was pretty good. Uh, they didn't go over the top like um, like a work and designs translation would, and I I think this style of localization uh, worked pretty good. Uh, yeah, that that's most of the things that come come off the top of my head. All right, things I did not like. So on the flip the flip side of this game being so accessible is that it was way too easy. That that is got to be far and away my biggest complaint with this game. So we played this on normal difficulty mode. So there was also an easy mode below this, and good lord. Uh, maybe easy mode just re removes all the combat in the game and you just walk through it maybe or it or it auto combats for you or something because I don't know how they could make this easier like make you invulnerable or something but I I'm actually kind of curious what easy mode is, even is in this game uh, so so I guess if if you play if you played a video game or two before play this on hard mode I guess because Holy hell, this... It was actually to a detriment of this game that it was so easy. Um, let's see. So, it was also pretty difficult a lot of times to find the places where the plot actually progresses. Um, usually, a, a lot of games, like, spell it out, where you're supposed to go, where you, who you're supposed to talk to for all these things. But for this one, a lot of the gameplay seemed to devolve into, okay, talk to every single NPC in every single town until... Uh, something new appears, and uh, there's there's generally better ways to do that. Um, even though we we knew what our main quest was to get the the five crystal things, um, finding a way to unlock the next area was kind of a pain in a lot of a lot of instances, um, and added a lot of unnecessary trekking around in the game. Uh, let's see. So back on balance again. So uh, the battles were super easy, and uh, on top of that. Uh, it, it kind of made the need to uh, like buy and sell items in the shop uh, completely pointless. Like I, I think I bought items maybe twice in the entire game, uh, and and never really felt the need to. There's also like a, a monster selling mechanic too that again didn't have to do because it, at no point did I feel I needed money in the game. Uh, because so I was just stockpiling money for the whole game. Uh, let's see. So that that feels like a whole other facet of the game that just I I could safely ignore because it wasn't even needed. Um, what else didn't I like? That uh, that boss battle, the um the worm boss battle with the two hearts, where he had to defeat it on turn six. So apparently in that fight, you're actually supposed to fail that the first time through. So I was actually correct the first time we fought that boss, and I, I did it correctly. But you're actually supposed to fail it, or or the etoile is supposed to screw it up on her end. So that that set me off on an hour-long like side thing to try and figure out what I was doing wrong with the, the worm fight, when I actually did it correctly the first time. And that that is really stupid that that is the thing um it's also a shame that the game crashed uh on me i think at least once but that that could just be a psi thing. so that's i can't really hold that too much against the game uh and also negatives like i i mentioned that this game's kind of short and and yeah but even though it was kind of short it kept it moving for a lot of it besides the whole keep getting lost and and not advancing the plot thing Besides that, I, I think it kept it moving enough that um, 
the length of the game is still a negative, but not as big as it would be for, for some other things. Um, and yeah, I think that covers most of the negatives here. All right, Ding Memes. Uh, Full-figured Captain Crunch. Sure. Aye, aye, Captain Crunch. But that was from the beginning of the game. And then there's also something else here that I had to replace it. Sure. So, I don't know. Sure. All right. Drums and bass. I don't recall any. It, it was mostly symphonic music in this game. So, yeah, not really. Elamau's. Uh oh, shart. Yeah, you're right. Shart. Let's get that one in there. Shart. Uh, Elamau's. Probably not. Like, probably the closest thing would be Cornet's mother. Um, yeah, the frog people too. But yeah, nah, they're all they're all just generic. The fantasy monsters, they'd fit in the fantasy setting, so nah. Nah. Alright, difficulty easy to hard. Whew. Oh boy. So so this game practically played itself for most of it. And I played on the normal difficulty. There is a difficulty below what I played on and a difficulty above what I played on. Um and normal difficulty is balanced for like like baby's first RPG, I guess. Because in, in battles, you could just hit the circle button and it would automatically do your turns for you. And it would actually make pretty good decisions so for the most part. Like some of the pathing was bad and it would only do physical attacks. But the, the combat in this game was balanced so poorly that you could just get away with, with bad positioning and auto attacking everything. And I, I practically beat the game just doing that. The only time when I ever really had to employ tactics was on the the worm boss fight and on the final boss. And that was it. That was like 0.1% of the fights in this game that I actually had to use more than one brain cell. Uh, so, so, yeah. Um, as far as the, the questing portion of the game difficulty-wise, uh, there was like two things. I had to write down things to, to keep track of. Um, so that wasn't too bad. Uh, as far as plot progression, you just really had to walk around and, and talk to people and kind of pay attention to what they say sometimes, because then it'll unlock something on the map somewhere else that you have to go to. Uh, let's see. And then dungeon designs. Most, uh, pretty much all the dungeons were, um, were grid-based. So as long as you, you kind of kept kept a mental map of where you were it was really difficult to get lost um and and yeah it was it was pretty easy to traverse like the the hardest dungeon is probably the last one and that one is only difficult because if you don't go straight ahead at the opening room then it's just some big big maze with a bunch of items and stuff that you don't actually need so if you just go north from the the very start of the dungeon that takes you directly to the boss so so that that dungeon didn't even need to be difficult for for me um so yeah so all told there this game is really easy <laughs> and it, it's it's to the detriment of this game all right and then rating one to five so so this this game is pretty unique so as far as other games that have just full-blown musical numbers in them, not many. Like I'm, I'm trying to think. There's, there's that game based off of the life of Chopin, Eternal Sonata, on 360. But that, that doesn't have straight-up musical numbers, I don't think. So. So yeah, uh, this this game is very unique in that respect. That there's there's very few others that have have these uh, in there. Um, as far as like RPG gameplay, it's pretty run of the mill. Uh, it's it doesn't require the strategy of something like a Disgaea or a Final Fantasy Tactics. Um, so pretty easy in that regard. So as an RPG, it's it's a very easy RPG considering I didn't die at all. I was never uh, never really under threat of dying in this game except for the the plot plot fights you, you were supposed to lose in um, 
And I guess it really boils down to, did I enjoy my time with this one? And generally, I'm going to say yes, I did enjoy my time with this one. Um, I like the presentation of this. I like uh, I like the music. I like the, the way it looked. Um, I appreciated how accessible this game was, and it didn't make it a complete slog to play through. Like, if, it, if this was something that I would have to spend five to ten minutes on every single fight that we got into, um, that that probably would have been worse off for this game than, than the way it was. Um, and yeah, I think that's fine. Yo, there's a remix of, of Shenmue. Somebody remixed Shenmue, apparently. Uh... So yeah, I, I wouldn't say that this is an instant classic or anything. Uh, and I I think as an RPG though, this is this is probably worth playing for fans of the genre. This isn't like a must play for for anybody on the PlayStation, but uh, this would also be a good starter RPG for people who want to get into the genre and don't want to be overwhelmed with uh, with something like. Uh, like Lunar, Lunar would probably overwhelm and discourage new RPG players, and uh, uh, the first Wild Arms probably would as well. And um, this this felt thematically a lot like Wild Arms did, but this is this is certainly way more accessible. Um, so so you got to get points for that for a game like uh, not all games need to be like super difficult, and this one this one lets you get through it and see you see what's up. And there's always the hard difficulty if you do want to. Uh, have a have a challenge in the game so i wouldn't say that this is this is a great game but i'd say this is above average i uh, i enjoyed this one so yeah there we go rhapsody a musical adventure 11 hours 30 minutes we actually beat it in just over 11 hours zero deaths 44 saves and yeah pretty good game all right Let's uh, let's see what the next PS explo the next next PS explosion game is. So the the next game is um, a helicopter game called Gunship, which is let's uh, let's see here. So this is this is the next PS explosion game, Gunship, and it's a uh, it's actually like a simulation helicopter game. Uh, and I tried it out for a minute or so just to see if it worked with PSIO. And this game might be longer than I initially thought it was because it's got an arcade mode and then it's got a full blown campaign mode, like, like early nineties PC, um, flight sim campaign mode. Uh, so yeah, I, I'm not sure how long that one will be or if I'll even bother finishing it because it, it looks like a real it's a real neckbeard type of game if I if I had to sum it up with that <laughs> this this is a neckbeard game but uh but yeah that uh, that'll be game number 201 is gunship and let's uh let's see what game number 202 is so as always my algorithm does not let the the last three chosen uh genres be part of the the next game so it will not be a strategy rpg it will not be a flight sim game and it will not be what was 199 i can't even remember <laughs> uh whatever whatever 199 was <laughs> it can't be that all right so let's uh let's see what it is and game number 202 is Machine Head. Oh, God. Okay. All right. 1996 FPS. <laughs> all right. Yep. There, there, there's Machine Head. Okay. That's all we need to know about this one, I guess. Uh, so, yeah. This is a this is a very early PS1 shooter. It's like... It's an arcade, arcade tank game. It was also on Saturn and... PC, I want to say it was called like, uh, it, it it has a slightly different name on on the other systems. Uh, it's like it has some some word before Machine Head. It's like Blam Machine Head or something is the is the title of it. 
but yeah. Bully SGI rendered 3D virtual landscapes with 360 mapping terrain. So there's terrain in this game. <laughs> sure. But yeah, that's uh that's gonna be game number 202, Machine Head. Look forward to it. And and at least it's gonna be another short one. It's not a uh not a big ass RPG. So let me get this entered into my database here. As game number 202. All right, good. So that's all set up. Okay, so I'm gonna get set up for uh, for shivers here. So I gotta get my uh, DOS PC turned on here. So uh, shivers, we're gonna be starting that game. That is a uh, 1995 mist light game. It's a puzzle game, first person puzzle game, and it's extremely difficult. So look forward to it. I'll be back in let's say four minutes. So at Let's say 1.50 a.m. on that clock there. I'll probably be back, so stay tuned. All right. 
All right, all right. Apparently. Uh, stream down? Is it? Let's, uh, let's see. Uh, it says excellent connection on YouTube for me. Uh, is it? It's good? Okay. Probably just you then. Let's see if my RTMP is still going. Yeah, RTMP is still going. Down and back, down and back, okay. Alright, just making sure. Alright, it just it just had a hiccup. Okay. Alright. So yeah. Shivers. This is a Windows 95 game. Uh first person adventure game, kinda like Mist. Uh and yeah. What darkness conceals, terror reveals. By Sierra T for Teen runs on Windows 95. Uh, mystery sounds through the haunted halls and rings of the rafters of a deserted museum. Was this place a failed dream or was it the waking nightmare of an eccentric old man? Where is the museum's creator and the other ill-fated visitors who disappeared so long ago? You enter with nothing but your wits to help you survive. Wretched spirits watch for the innocent, the unwary, ready to steal your life's essence. Can you hear the shrieks now, the howls and moans and wail wails? They're, huh? They're waiting for you. Experience spine tingling, first person adventure, unravel a mysterious way to do it, then good luck. Good luck. All right. And then uh, the screenshots are just, these are just some of the, so the areas in game. It is very spooky. So they, they don't actually show any of the puzzles on the back of the box. It's all just scenes from the game. So yeah, that's, uh, that's what we get. And this is, of course, a Sierra game. Proceeds from this went straight into uh, straight into Ken Williams' pocket. All right, and then for the manual here, the manual is pretty threadbare, so there's there's not much we need to see here. Uh, the making of there's a making of Shivers in the in here. All right, welcome to Shivers, the first in a series of adventure games designed to scare the wits out of you. You'll need your wits to unravel. Uh, if you played an adventure game before, Shivers might be designed a little differently. Uh, it's only linear instruction until you get into the museum. Once inside, you can roam at will. It doesn't matter what order you see the rooms, you'll never get stuck. I don't know about that. I, I think I'm going to get stuck quite often. Uh, something else that might seem different about Shivers is the function of the cursor. We thought it would be too easy if the cursor highlighted all the clues. So it's up to you to click on everything if you expect to unravel the museum's mysteries. <laughs> the cursor won't give away the fact that you may be only inches from an evil entity or anything else. Uh, uh. <laughs> Alright, divided into sections, yep. Uh, the walkthrough leads you through the first part of the game. Solutions are upside down if you need them. Uh, hints scattered throughout the guide will give clues to the game. Sure. All right. Introduction. So this is all this is all technical help stuff that we don't really need. System requirements. Yep. This is... It looks like they made this manual in, like, Microsoft, uh, like, PowerPoint or something. Whatever the... Microsoft works. <laughs> <laughs> like nice uh I don't think we need to read the lore because I don't I don't recall it actually mattering so we'll we'll not read this enormous novel uh okay toolbar inventory options menu click on the eyeball for options or, or plain save is so life essence eyeball and options menu okay Auto-save. Every time you capture an entity, the game is automatically saved unless you turn off auto-save. That's fine. Quick save. Alt and S is quick save. All right. So we'll remember that. Alt and S. Uh, half screen, full screen, flashback is... Flashback is for looking at movies, I think. I can't remember what that is, but sure. Um, text on and off is for subtitles, and we'll, we'll turn on subtitles. Uh, eyeball for looking at stuff in the inventory. If I remember correctly, there there isn't really 
and inventory in this game. Like, well, we'll get into it when we get there, but there isn't much. So yeah, there's there's pot lids and talismans. So the, the objective of the game is to capture these ghost things inside a pot. Um, and then you also need the, the corresponding lid for that pot. And you can tell what it is because there's, there's a distinct shape on the, the opening on the pot. So you need both halves of that. And then you need to go find where that ghost is and then put it in the pot. And then once you capture them all, I think, I think the game's over. I think. Um, and then, uh, and then also it seems if you, if you die and reload your save, the, the pots will get randomized again. <laughs> so they, they really fucking randomize everything in this game. Uh, so they'll magically combine sitting in your inventory. Once you've captured an Ixupi, uh, they'll appear on the spaces in the toolbar and then, and then you're done with them at that point. So that's how you know how many you've, uh, you've unlocked. Um, so objects of the game is to live through the night by capturing all 10 Ixupi, uh, roaming throughout the museum. Uh, you capture each one in the corresponding pot. Yep. So like, just like I mentioned, so moving around, uh, it's forward, spin around and then turn left and right. So it's, it's just missed, missed controls. Uh, that's what the pots and talismans look like. So there's the, there's the opening for the pot there. Okay, pot is taken. Yep, scoring. Uh, so the more you you look at stuff in the game, the more points you get. But I just want to beat the game. I don't care about points. Uh, death. When you die, a nasty thing will happen. The inventory items will change place in the museum so that the pots and talisman may or may not be where you last saw them. That's that's so fucked up. <laughs> oh god. All right, you won the game when you capture all ten spirits and your friends come back to get you. Uh, we'll meet our friends shortly in the opening cutscene to the game. It's, uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, okay. Puzzle objectives. What is this? Trouble solving the puzzles in one go. Yep. Here's a few hints in case you get stuck. All right. We're not gonna, we're not gonna look at those. We're not gonna look at those. We're just gonna, I'm gonna go straight to the notes section. And we're gonna we're gonna do this proper blind. All right, let's uh let's get going here. <laughs> I've been I've been waiting for so long to finally beat this game, get my revenge on this game. All right, so I am uh, I'm running this in Windows ninety eight on my uh on my DOS slash Windows ninety eight machine, and let me get the correct audio input set up here okay that's i believe that's the correct one let's get ready for dings yeah there we go okay all right i gotta unmute it on my own mixer so i can hear it too all right yeah the, that beautiful sound of windows 98 sound test okay and i'm gonna be playing this through everybody's favorite daemon tools so that we don't have to have disc read errors and all that bullshit all right shivers.q so i actually i have the disc for this but it's one of those instances where the disc is just so old it doesn't read correctly anymore but luckily i made a disc image of it a while ago so we uh we good for that all right, you ready? It's it's time. It's time for the shivers. All right, Ken Williams presents. <laughs> Shivers. I don't think I even need a keyboard for this, but I'll, I'll leave the keyboard here. All right, new game. Get ready for some, some FMV. <laughs> Red.
register your name. All right. Dare was kind of your idea, you know. But I'm glad I'm me out here and not you in there. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've heard those same loving words before. Like the time you guys dared me to spend the night at that cemetery. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, if you die in the museum tonight, I'll make sure she gives a eulogy at your funeral. <laughs> we never would have made you spend the night here if you hadn't uh, talked about this place so much. Yeah, we thought you'd been kind of well obsessed thinking you hearing voices and stuff coming from the museum and all. <laughs> Too weird for me. Hey, you know, maybe they're the voices of those kids who disappeared 15 uh, years ago. Right, the police never found the bodies. Or the killer. Yeah. But and my sister, crackle. you know Julie, the one in college, says Professor Windelnuck went insane. He viciously murdered them and then buried their bodies in the basement of the museum. Uh -huh. It's a 95 well, what game. What if he's hiding in that creepy <laughs> museum right now, just waiting for another victim? Yeah, and the ghost of his victims are calling out, <laughs> warning you. <laughs> ring, ring. Hello? I think it's for you. <laughs> get out, get out. They are evil. No, no. That was just a dog howling. There was something more than that. Well, I didn't hear anything. I think this place is just getting us all spooked. Uh, are you sure you want to go through with this? You could back out at any time. But of course, if you did, you'd probably never live down the chicken jokes. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> You'll be Damn. all right. Come on, I don't want to be late for the movie. We'll be back at dawn to let you out. Bye-bye. See ya. Later. Peace. All right, then they get in their BMW, it looks like. Of course, they're in a fucking Beamer, yep. Yep, that's a, a three, three series. Of course, those douchebags. All right. So here we go. Shivers. So this is uh, like I'm looking over at my my CRT monitor, and this is so dark on that monitor, like I can't see anything. All right. Sir Hubert Windelnot, the Museum of the Strange and Unusual. The firm handled legal and financials for the Windelnots. Continue serving you. Uh, sure. Yep. Okay. So there's a letter from 1964 here. For some reason. Sure. There is a... There's a fire truck outside? Alright, hold up. I gotta go see what's going on outside, because there's there's something weird going on. So I'll I'll be back in probably a minute. And we'll see what's going on. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> there's just there's just a fire truck out front. I don't know. I'm not going to worry about it. All right, back to Shivers. Oh, I just saw a tweet from Freddy. The uh the old Shenmue 2 speedrun router 
that he just he just saw the thing about the about the the Shenmu racing thing. Yeah, Shivers gonna burn the house down. Probably. <clears throat> yeah, I don't. I have no idea why there's a fire truck out front. No idea. All right. Sure. I'm gonna leave one of my my headphones off just in case they they come pounding on my door for some reason. All right. Uh. Twenty nine. Okay. All right. We'll write that down because there there are like our puzzles and environmental puzzles where you have to write down stuff like this. Okay. Professor Windlenuts. Nuts? Professor Windlenuts. Oh, now I know why why the they're here. There's an ambulance at the uh, there's a house down an alley to the left of me, and uh, the fire truck was here for for the ambulance. So it was, it was probably some old person fell down in their house in the middle of the night, and they had to to call in call in everybody. That happens from time to time. So that explains it. There. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, let's see. So we need to get into the museum somehow. Bird run? Uh, I don't think that is. That's anything significant. Okay. Oh, I, uh. Sure, I'll, I'll make a note of this. Monka TOS. Sure. That, yep. Yep, that's, yep. Yep. Yep, close enough. Good enough. Uh. Okay. I love that <laughs> this is like, <laughs> this is some mid nineties 3D modeling here. Oh man. Like, yeah, that, that's how bricks work, right? Okay. It's got pyramids here. Glasnria. Okay. So there is music later on in the game, by the way, if you're if you're worried about Welcome to Professor Windlenot's Museum of the Strange. Oh, that, that's right, I gotta turn on subtitles. My bad. Let's turn off the brightness too while we're here. <laughs> <laughs> and on you Welcome to Professor Windlenot's Museum of the Strange and Unusual. Unfortunately, the museum is still preparing exhibits and hopes you will visit when we open sometime in the near future. Okay. So they're closed. And those, those look important. So we'll... We'll write those down. Sure. So anything that looks like a symbol you want to write down in this game is what I remember, especially for the, the beginning of the game. Like, later on, once you're in the museum, it's more standalone puzzles, but for the, the opening sequence of the game, it is, hey, look at this, and hey, remember this, because you're going to need that. Okay. All right, back down this way. All right, I don't see any more symbols over here. Nothing behind there. 
ね。All right, and this this sweet dithering on everything. I uh, I don't I don't know if I need to write down this. I could have sworn whatever it is here. Yeah, it's okay. It's this. So we got green. Green shell thing. And then it's got the the Lord Helix. And then this is green. So here, here's what my incredible notes look like so far. <laughs> Pretty good. All right. Because we'll need that for later. Okay, here's this. Yep, this is. They fired up Bryce 3D and then just, just put that. Uh, that was it a toroid, a Taurus. Okay, and then on the park bench we have the, the embossed circle. And let's say this is red. Okay. And we got the good old stock water sounds. I remember this water sound used in a, uh, a fishing game that uh, my dad and I played in the, the mid 90s. And it was, it was literally this sound over and over again <laughs> for hours and hours. Uh, nope. Okay. So there's all right. Is there anything else around here that can? Nope. So whatever, whatever we need to solve that puzzle, we should already have the information, I guess. So there's three white circles, three black circles. And maybe there is supposed to be another, another set of circles here. So maybe it's zero, three, three. No. Okay. What about three, three, zero? No. So there's, there's another symbol over there. Maybe three, three, three. No. Okay, maybe it's it's by vertical columns then for two two two. Oh, I I just remembered. We did see a number. We did see a number. There was a twenty nine in the mailbox. I just remembered. <laughs> Where have I seen a number? Okay, maybe it's zero two nine. Oh God, seven? Okay, so. Why can't I with the Okay? Am I supposed to switch these?
Oh, oh, okay, hold up. So, all right. So these, so that's, that's the orientation that they need to be in. And it's currently swapped, isn't it? So the white, okay, so we need to reverse the, the white ones, the black ones here. What? Why can't, what? Why won't it let me? Is there some, is there some sort of rule that I'm... Like that one... Maybe we can't put it back in the... the sp <laughs> that one can't go there. Maybe we can only move it one spot at a time. Okay, so it looks like we can only move it one spot at a time. So... No, that's not going to work either. It, it, like, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm still too stupid for this game. This is one of the easy puzzles, by the way. This is, this is the, this is like that diffusing the bomb in, uh, in, uh, God, what was that game? Fear Effect? This is diffusing the fear effect bomb all over again. Okay, I think I got it. All right. Our nightmare is over. I did it. I beat the, the first puzzle in the game. <laughs> Okay. Let's, uh, all right. It's alt S is quick save. I'm not sure if that actually saved. Auto save on. All right. Okay. All right. So we got the embossed circle cross thing and it's teal uh, sure it's got those things and this is let's say it's not teal but whatever color that is tan let's say tan sure tan okay uh Okay. Eh? All right, what have we got here? So, oh shit, what color? So this, that was that color, I think. And then, oh, oh. Oh, geez. 
Uh. So this this one was that what was that? Green was that. Red was the embossed circle. This was that. I don't recall seeing an orange anything. But it, it must be by process of elimination that. Okay, maybe not. Alright, I, I think I need to go back to the... We need to go back up those stairs and... and double check what color things were. Okay, so that's... That's looking reddish-orange to me. Uh... Oh, there's that one. Okay, so that... That is silver. So that is the... The swirly Stussy. Silver. Okay, I think just, just going from that, we have enough info now to... Um, to do that, uh, that puzzle now. Okay, so green. So this is. This is that. And that's that. Which means that maybe this is the embossed circle. And then this is. That's that? No? Okay, maybe not. Okay. So for the ones that I'm unsure of, then it'd be the ones up the stairs. Luckily, you can move pretty fast in this game. Okay, so that's orange. Orange. Okay. And then up at the door, I think these were, those were silver, I guess. Let's say silver or gray. Okay. So I, sure. So I'm not sure you can even brute force this, but... And yeah, the um the sound that you're hearing, uh I believe I can actually I, I think I know what that is. So I think I left the PC speaker still on, and what you're actually hearing is the um the sound of the uh the CPU loading. That's actually what you're hearing. So I'm gonna alt tab if I can. Will let me? No? Okay. Alright, we'll Goodbye. hit Goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, um Yep, we saved. So I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. So if I mute it in the, the mixer, because I was testing... Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the PC speaker. Like, if I turn this up, you can probably hear it, right? So if I move the mouse cursor here... You, can, you might be able to hear that. I certainly can. And that's that's likely what that uh, that sound is coming from. So if I mute that, that we probably won't have that sound anymore. Okay, I forgot I left that on. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's good old uh, 
Uh, Select a game from the register. Digital noise for old computers. Okay. Oh no, we still get it. <laughs> Alright, never mind. <clears throat> okay. We'll just know every time that I move now. Hello? Move forward? Okay. So, this is orange. Okay. So that's orange. Uh, this is silver slash gray, which I think is probably that. Okay. That's still green. This is embossed circle. That's still tan. And then this is the swirly. There we go. All right. Hey. Okay. All right. I'm going to save here. Alt S. Because I think the game actually starts to get dangerous from here on in. Okay. So if it's if it looks super dark, that's because it is. Like I can I can barely see this on my OLED. I I think I got turned around somehow. Uh, hello, game? There we go. Okay. Oh, no, that's that's back to where you came. <laughs> yeah, luckily there's um there's nothing important in this area, if I remember correctly. Oh, so this is just a big, a big circle that this goes in. Nice. So if I turn right here, there should... Wait, that's... There we go, okay. We missed this. Okay, there we go. That explains that. Uh oh, that's uh <laughs> we should probably go check that out over there if we can. Uh Okay. All right, let's make a new section of the notes here. So let's just draw that symbol the way it is. Uh, that. And then up to that. I guess that's a G? Sure. Hieroglyph. Oh, God. 
Uh, all right. All right. There'll be a quiz on this later. Man, woman. Oh, God. Uh, I don't Nefertiti. Uh. Uh. Okay, we'll probably have to come back and, and reference this later, I'm guessing. With, after writing down some... Oh. I, uh... Okay. Alright. Look, we'll not worry about that for now. Alright, if I, if I click on this guy, does it do anything? No. So you can only interact with the book here. Okay. Alright, sure. So there's probably going to be some sort of... ...puzzle with that later. Hello? Is this... It's not going to let me interact with it? I'm, I'm clicking on this thing. So I want the, the back... Oh. <laughs> Maybe we have to disengage the one on the back? Ah, okay. Sure. Okay. All right. So th this is one of these kinds of games, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> you have to be, like, really thorough. Okay, can we look around here. Is there any... We just got spooked, and we lost some life. But I, I think it's, uh, it's scripted to do that. So there's one of the pots over there. Okay. I'm not trusting this auto save. Oh, jeez. Fifteen long years in this prison. You, get out. Do not meddle in things beyond your understanding. You will pay for your curiosity. You are in grave danger. They are so evil. Already some of your life essence has been stolen. I was too old, not fast enough. The Iksupi are so evil. It is imperative to find all the vessels, because it seems only when they are united with their talismans do they have any power. My plan was to use them on the Iksupi before any more of them escape into the world. I believe they cannot resist the vessels as long as they're with the talismans and you approach directly. This the vessel here is of no use to you, however. It's Iksupi is the one who robbed me of my essence. And he's escaped into the world. And they've ruined my museum! Okay, so the, these are the things we're looking for. Oh. There's something on the inside, but we can't, can't look at that. All right, so that's that is our quest. We've received our our main quest here, and yeah, for whatever. Well, I guess I know the reason, but the um, the FMVs in this game are interlaced because <laughs> to save on uh, save on uh, bandwidth. If some big old chunky scan lines. Okay, it looked like there was a an elevator or something over here. Is that a that's just a girder, I guess. Sure. All right.
So we're we're currently in the Windows um, the Windows 95 maze screensaver now. Or this is Wolfenstein 3D. Okay, four dots, four dots. Sure. Oh, God. So wait, what the... Uh... So, all right, four dots in a... Uh, in a line like that. Okay, I'm gonna write that down. So the, the puzzles are random, by the way. So see, see how it's completely different now? Amazing. So we need to get the the dragon heads or whatever in a line like that. So we'll do that. Okay. Okay. GG. Easy puzzle, easy life. Easy puzzle for babies. Alright. So now I think we're almost in the museum proper. And this is kind of where the game gets open-ended. You can just do whatever. Okay. Atlantis must explore. I'll save Atlantis. Must be found. Hubert T. Windlenot. Bimini Island is part of Atlantis. Sure. Professor Windlenot. Unexplained mysteries. Sure. Okay. Is this the boy who's been following me? Teenage is still missing. Okay. That must be the, the local teens that they talked about in the, the opening cutscene. 75 cents in 1980. Okay. Uh... So again, just like the, the manual said, like literally anything can be an interactive thing in this game. All right, we Shenmue 2 all over again. 30th of September, 1980. Returning from Africa. I discovered something profoundly disturbing. Someone has been here. Furniture has been tipped over. And the book Egyptian Hieroglyphics Explained. Not in its place in the library, but... Face down here on the office floor. And oddly, one of the pages is torn out. And I feel the presence of... I'm not sure. I must investigate the second floor. Oh, the puzzles. When I created them, I never stopped to think they would be an obstacle in the event of some terrible occurrence. Yeah, probably not up to code there. Ixupi, someone has released them from their vessels. Never has anything been so evil. A name written in the lift, Merrick. Who is he? One of the missing youngsters here in my museum? If so, are they both here? Can they still be alive? Evil entities attacking from everywhere, robbing me of my life essence. I can't seem to find the right vessel for eating soupy. Without it, they can't be captured. Without it, I am doomed. There's there's our lore. Okay. 
Wait, can we use the phone? Oh, the, the phone cord is broken. Rip. Too bad it's it's just pieces of wire that you can just Oh jeez. Uh resigning from the Royal Society, yep. Uh-huh. Mary Elizabeth Wendell not sure. Okay. Oh, okay. Alright, we got a we got an Igzoopy piece. Okay, so this is this is the top for one of the the pots. So this is the Alright. So you can only carry one with you at a time. Uh so I'm gonna make a new page in my notes just for Exupi location. All right, so this one is bowl triangle, and it's in uh, office desk. All right, because because we're gonna have to leave this here and come back for it later when we find the the pot that um that attaches to that so we'll we'll just leave that as is and, and just make a note that it's there scrapbook sure oh man <laughs> okay joffrey p windle not okay and yeah that's that's what the exupy pots look like Okay. All right, that's all we can interact with on the desk, it looks like. All right, further into the museum. Oh God, okay. So that that sound meant that there there's an exupi here. Uh. So, Exupi Ghost is in the office fireplace. Okay. Alt S. So we'll we'll have to come back here later to uh What's, what's over here? Okay, there's another elevator. Okay. All right, secret elevator. And it's another one of these. Uh. And I can't, oh geez. Okay, so we got to get one down here. So we'll do... We can't do that. Okay. What? Why is that not working? Why will this... So I can't... I don't think this is even solvable. Oh, they move four spaces. Or... Shit, I don't know. <laughs> uh, so I can't move that. Oh god. Okay. Well, <laughs> we'll we'll return to that that one someday. All right. What's in here? Uh. So we're missing a uh, hatchet. It looks like there's just some skeletons here. Sure. Table saw. Basilisk, huh? All right. Sure.
Oh, you probably need to put it put it together. Oh god, okay. So we gotta write down we gotta write down the numbers. <laughs> Alright, notes. So we got two four one three four two A sixty five B one oh nine four ninety and one four seven. Okay. And then we put together our own basilisk, I guess. All right, two four one, and then three four two A, sixty five B, one oh nine, four ninety, and one four seven. Do we open all of them except that one then? Okay, so that one, close these. Close these two. And then open everything but those. Okay. So there's an exupy bottom pot thing. So this is serrated. Okay. So this is pot. Circular. Serrated. Looks like that, and it's got some sort of red. It looks like a, a caterpillar almost marking. And that is in the... What area would I describe this as? This is like the the office workshop, I guess. Office workshop. Uh basilisk puzzle. Okay. So we found another pot in there. Okay. And we can just leave that open. Okay. <laughs> All right. Sure. That's yep. That that's a thing. That's probably a spot for an exupy at some point. That it's just not randomly there right now. Okay. All right. Out into the main museum. All right. Now is. Now is where the shit gets real here. In shivers. I also just realized I haven't been logging my saves. So we'll... We'll do that. Sure. We're up to like five at this point. Okay. Masks. Spectacular transforming masks. Masks represent birds and monsters associated with the man eating spirit. Okay. I. Uh, it's probably not a puzzle, it's probably just a thing. So, sure. This is probably an exupy point. Items in this case found in Mayan ceremonial cave. Jade skulls, one of the largest jade items. 
There is no Jade Skull here. <laughs> uh. Okay. This is this a map? Alright. Oh god, okay. Alright. Colored skulls. Notes. Colored skulls. So, giant eagle's nest is blue. <laughs> Viking. Burial is blue. Myth of the werewolf is red. Of course, there's going to be a werewolf in another game I play. Legend of the Daros. Of the Daros is yellow. Tomb of the Exupi. Is green. So you can see how this would be randomized. Because they can just switch out the colors and then GG new puzzle. Is red. Okay. All right, got that written down. Okay. Oh, God. Okay, so for this, we need... We need to know the... The Egyptian symbols for north, south, east, and west. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. So now, now we know what we need from that book. Oh, God. All right. Well, we know where that is. So I'm just going to go back there and I got to go get it real quick. So we can get access to that, uh... Oh my god, I have to do this puzzle every time to use the elevator. Oh shit. Okay. Okay. Whew. Back over to the the mummy mummy dude. And then I think I'll take a picture of the pages of the book. Because man, I really don't feel like writing all that down. Oh. Okay. Thought there was an exupy here. Okay, so we gotta go down here, turn this thing around. way over here all right
Let's just do this. Okay. And I will dump these into my notes. Later on. Okay. And if you say, hey, you couldn't you couldn't do this back when the game came out. Polaroid cameras existed. Checkmate. You could totally Polaroid your your CRT screen. So that is my excuse for using a phone phone digital camera here to cheese this. Yeah, or just or just dry everything. Could do that too. Which I I would have, but man, that's I'm already kind of tired of drawing <laughs> drawing diagrams in this game already, and I know there's gonna be a whole lot of it more still to come. And we have to keep doing this puzzle every time. Oh god. Oh, so uh, by the way, the the puzzles get harder the more you do them. By the way, so now now this is five things here. Oh god, and we also can't move the center one. So this one we have to get in the center right there. So at least they move two at a time. All right. That Oh, that Okay. Wait, and that one moves three down at a time? Perfect. And then this one is fine where it is. Let's see. Okay. So this one. Okay. Puzzle song. Got it. All right. Yep. Good old mist. I can't remember if I use if I use this uh, my surface for notes on mist or not. Can't remember. Or if I just wrote it down in a piece of paper when I did those streams. Can't remember. Riven I've never played before, so that one that one will be new to me. Okay, so it was left through this door. Alright. So that was the easy part. Now we actually have to do the puzzle. <laughs> okay. So So north is this right. God. It's this. There's a two. We need this right here. We need the parallel lines there. Okay. So south is So this is south, and then we also need one of these over there. Okay, that goes there. That's an empty spot. This is a two. And then a vertical line, so that's fine. So north and south are fine. So west, we got this there. We got one of these, and it makes this little face thing. And then east, we need to switch. The foot needs to be on the right. That needs to be on the left. And then 
put these over there. Got him. Boom. Puzzle solved. All right. If I remember correctly, there's there's an exupy pot on one of the chairs. I want to say in the audience, but I don't see any. Eh? Oh, geez, that looks like a bad time over there. So we got another. Oh, man. So there's there's just puzzles everywhere. Oh, God. Puzzles everywhere. Eh? Yeah, it, it most definitely is colorful. Oh, God. Real, real omatic. Sure. The nuts, uh, oh, we got it. Okay. Life and legends of ancient sites around the world with your host, Sir Hubert Windelnot, Professor of Archaeology. Innumerable mysteries are raised as we look at the remains of the past. Who are these people who built these structures? Why did they have so much in common with the ancients in Egypt and Mesopotamia? What fate caused them to disappear and take their knowledge with them? Why did they bury their secrets beneath the earth? Archaeologists are only now piecing together the clues from pictographs and carvings left behind. Even so, we are far from understanding them. There is a legend of an immense tunnel running under the Andes Mountains in South America, connecting the Inca civilizations with a subterranean world. Searching for that passage, I followed this tunnel for almost a mile, when all of a sudden it just stopped. Now, I asked myself, why would the builders of this tunnel go this far just to have it suddenly dead end? Come with me as we explore its secrets. <laughs> you will see that the tunnel ends here. Now, notice the unusual markings on this end wall. Now, this is so clever. Watch as I touch the images. Now, pay close attention. This seems to be the key. One of the ways the ancients guarded their most secret treasures. Unfortunately, this particular tunnel is not the famed Andean tunnel system, but a decoy, for we found nothing but a maze leading to an empty room. Or is it that we have not yet discovered the rest of its secrets? This is Sir Hubert Windlenot, Professor of Archaeology, signing off.
Oh my god. So I gotta remember all of that. <sighs> Alright. Yeah, you know what else existed in 1995? You know what else existed? Camcorders. All right, Hubert. Mysterious places, life and legends Break it down of one more time for me. The world with your host, Sir Hubert Windelman. Because that's a puzzle solution. We're going to need to know how to do that again. The of the past. Who are these people who built these structures? Why did they have so much in common with the ancients in Egypt and Mesopotamia? What fate caused them to disappear and take their knowledge with them? Why did they bury their secrets beneath the earth? Archaeologists are only now piecing together the clues from pictographs and carvings left behind. Even so, we are far from understanding them. There is a legend of an immense tunnel running under the Andes Mountains right. in Come South on, America. Hubert. Connecting the Inca civilizations with a subterranean world. S searching for that passage, I followed this tunnel for almost a mile. When all of a sudden it just stopped. Now, I asked myself, why would the builders of this tunnel go this far just to have it suddenly dead end? Come with me as we explore its secrets. All right. Let's explore the secrets. Bring it down, see Hubert. That the tunnel ends here. Got my camcorder now, out. Notice the unusual markings on this end wall. Now, this is so clever. Watch as I touch the images. I see. Now. Pay close attention, this seems to be the key. So I'm guessing this puzzle is the same every time. Isn't this ingenious? Because I doubt they this is one of the ways they the recorded multiple versions guarded. of that. Alright. this room immediately because there's an exupy right there ingenious all right let's let's see what's what this puzzle's all about here with this spooky skull uh Checking that DMB box, baby. <laughs> I bet y'all expected this song to be in the game. <laughs> door looks like that. This one I'll actually draw. We got this hot track going in the background while I draw this. So that that looks like that. And then it's got and then Sure, that that looks accurate to me. That looks about right. Okay. 
Oh, it's also... Should mention... Red... Door... Okay. Sort of, best friend. Look at all these very real phone numbers here. <laughs> what a jerk if Bob answers. Okay. Terrific taco. Call Sunday to get scheduled. I've got to get a new job. <laughs> Willie's book. Okay. We've got multiple entries for Merrick here, apparently. So this must be for the, the two teens that disappeared in, in 1980. So if I remember correctly, this is this is like shortcuts. I want to say, it, God, it's been so long. I think those are shortcuts, though. All right, so there's a power plant down here. I'm gonna keep the generators. This seems safe. Uh. Okay. Sure. So this is probably an Ixuki area. And again, just like the manual mentioned, the game does not highlight clickable objects or hotspots. You just kind of have to, to click on everything until something does something. <laughs> the game does not hold your hand. Like, is that... Okay, none of that's clickable. That's not clickable. Okay. This, this below here looks like something, like a, a, a door that opens. Like maybe there's a brick we have to to push or something, or a switch somewhere else. Like this, this clearly looks like a fake door, but I don't, uh, I don't see anything that looks like it would be a switch for that. Okay, sure. All right, back into Incredibles soundtrack hallway, I guess. Wait, am I stuck in here? Did that door just close behind me and... Uh... Uh... Okay, there's the door. <laughs> Whew, I thought I was stuck in there. Somebody remix. Put just put this straight up on OC remix. Say this is this is my new new thing. Oh, you're right. The, I, I never noticed the the PS1 info monitor. Thank you for pointing that out. <laughs> we don't need that up for for a PC game. Oh, there's something on the ground there. Okay. He's into dead mummies and stuff. Oh, okay. I, uh, so these... These weren't there. An F and PE. Nice. Okay, so more lore, I guess. Sure. <laughs> I 
sure? Alright, apparently we didn't go in here. So there's like 200 rooms in this game, by the way. Like, not just views in the game, but like rooms. <laughs> there's there's so much to this game. Uh, Loki Valley, crown himself. Okay. Uh. So that that's the story of the Exupi. Sure. Not gonna worry about that though. So this must be where that um the Egyptian hieroglyphics book got taken from. Okay. Alright, what's this supposed to be? Oh, yeah. Yep. It's got a place of honor right there. This this book with like 10 pages in it goes right there. <laughs> sure. Oh, that's the... Okay, that's the main hall. So that's... I'm guessing that that... Uh, that door was locked or something? Uh, it's it's like it's got Egypt it's got medieval Europe it's got China it's got Inca it's got all sorts of stuff it's like anything with folklore and legends okay security cameras still going Oh jeez! All right. Uh, I'm at. I don't think I want to use that just now because it'll. All it will be is a shortcut somewhere, and it's not going to help me. So, well, shit. Maybe I do need to. All right. Whatever. We'll just. Uh, we'll just leave through here back into the main hall. I'm pretty sure we can't go back this way, though. I have a feeling this door is locked. It's not? Okay. Well, all right. Okay, so <laughs> we just made a, a big loop through the, the theater back to here, I guess. So was there anything else in the... Th I think there was another... There was another door in the back of the theater... Uh, used to beat. Yep. Also, for future reference, don't tell me how long how long to beat is for a game, because uh, mm. that is that's a spoiler as far as I'm concerned. And I'd appreciate it if you not uh, not tell me that. I I seriously have to solve this puzzle again. Okay. Well, we're not gonna we're not gonna solve this again. Plus, I got a good reason to to go back. Oh wait, it just opens. Okay. All right. Uh... And also, how long to beat is never accurate. So take that with. Oh shit. Uh. Yeah, it's always wrong, anyways. But sometimes it is right. Uh. Like five minutes. Well, they will be when we get to to NES games, because those you totally can in five minutes. Hello, Ed and Melissa. Good, good morning. Okay, so from here, so we can go upstairs. This is the way into. Okay, this is the main exhibit. Okay, there's... That's an inhaler? Okay. Alright. There's just a 
big old spider. Here's just... <laughs> here's... Okay, here's an obelisk with tusks in it. I, uh... Sure? This nest built by a pair of bald eagles in Georgia. Okay. Well, of course, speed run times are going to be different. Okay. So that, that's probably an exupy spot. Oh, man. Look at that. <laughs> Found in a tar pit in Turkey, bones of an unusual animal. Three animals, wings of a pterodactyl, body of a saber-toothed tiger, and the head of a raptor. Oh, obviously, it's a griffin. Obviously. Uh, this game Abandonware? It's a Sierra game. Sierra games are never Abandonware. Ken Williams has bills to pay. Oh, I didn't notice the, the back legs on this thing. Okay. Sure, that's... That, that's, uh... That's a griffin, sure. Okay, so the, the skull thing. All right, so according to my notes here, this is the giant eagle's nest, which is supposed to be blue. So we got to set this to blue. So that, that was from the pamphlet in the, the main hall where it said, can you find all the exhibits? And then it listed colored skulls. So I'm assuming we set that to blue and just leave it. Okay. You are now entering the unfathomable depths of the sea where countless ships have sunk, taking with them untold riches. The wisdom known only to the ancients may also reside here in the lost city of Atlantis. <gasps> the lost city of Atlantis, okay. Raptor size. That's, that's when they grow all their feathers. All right, we get some Shenmu music here. Poseidon. Okay. This is probably a, oh God. Okay. Well, we, we likely don't have the answer to that yet. So according to the professor's office, the location, okay, that, that was an Exupy. There's an Exupy over there. Uh, Colossus of Rhodes. Yep. Okay. I don't recall the there being a a latitude and longitude written on the map in the office for where Atlantis was in that clipping. There was just the the thing in the Bahamas. I think was just circled. And I don't think there's a way to look down at the map. But I'm pretty sure that's what we have to enter into that, uh, into this thing. Do you dare listen to the sirens? The device at the bottom of the screen. Okay, so this is, um, so the, the object of this game, in order to beat the game, we have to collect 10 spirits called Exupi. They're evil ghosts. Uh, in order to collect one, we need a, a vase, a vase, and the top for the vase. There's two parts of it. Um, you can only match up the uh, a bottom of it with the top of it, and they're, they're shaped with a specific shape. And then you have to bring that vase to the Exupi that matches the, um, the completed vase that you have. 
So down here, the green bar is our life force. So we already took one hit that you're supposed to take at the beginning of the game. Um, as you collect Exupi, they fill up on here. They go into the spot on there. Um, you can only hold one one piece of the, the pots during a time. So if you if you grab the bottom of one, it goes here, and then you can look at it to, to check the markings on it. And then this is just to open the, the menu, which might as well save while we're here. So there's a hotkey to save, but I don't really trust it. And, uh, and then, yeah, that's it. And then the rest of the game is just complete cursor-based movement. Okay, Greek mythology, sirens are huge birds, woman faces. Uh, okay, time to the mass. Argonauts, saved by the sirens. Found this thing with the lyre. All right, do we dare listen to the sirens? Do I need to take out my my IEMs for this? I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave them in. All right. Oh God. Oh God. Okay, so this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a bottom one. Okay, and it's there. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Uh, there. Here, I, I, okay, I should probably number these. This would be easier. One, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. So this is the siren song. So yeah, it's it's a lot of stuff like this. <laughs> this is this is the kind of puzzles in this game. All right, so so we need that for something, something somewhere. Oh, we gotta. Oh God. Okay. It's not really a music puzzle if you just write down which ones they are. Like, you, you could do it by ear, or you just, you know, get a piece of paper. Okay. Yeah, first try, we did it. I remember the, the mist the missed music puzzle, you did actually have to, have to know notes. But for this one, you don't. You are about to enter the bowels of Mother Earth. Are there great civilizations that exist here, or just molten lava and rivers of fire? Are you adventurous enough to solve the mystery of the maze and venture into the subterranean world? Oh, mazes. Fuck. Uh, Puna Man, great thing is suck. Socrates believed that life existed below the Earth's surface. Edmund Halley published the first scientific theory that the Earth is hollow. Is this another world within our own? Mystery still remains, however, as to where the entrance exists. Okay. All right, get ready for mazes. Fuck. Oh God. Oh hey, it's this. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Hold up. Let me let me get out my camcorder here. Uh. Okay.
Okay. Alright. I'm watching back the, the camcorder footage. So it's it's this one. Oh no, this is Okay. This one. This one. This one. This one. Okay. Now pay close attention. This seems to be the key. Hit this one. This one. Hey, look at that. First try. All right. My camcorder saved the day. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Oh, oh, we'll get to the Closer. we'll get to the the hard puzzles later. Oh, maybe this is the maze. Ah, shit. Just... I beat Rhapsody earlier, by the way. In case you're wondering. And the next, uh, the next, next PS Explosion game... Hey, I did it! The next, next PS Explosion game is, uh, Metal Head. I think, is what it's called. Oh man, look at that thing! Okay. Let's, let's save here. I beat Rhapsody. It took 11, 11 ish hours. Uh, so the next P so PS Explosion number 201 is Chop the. Uh, that helicopter game, whatever it's called. Uh, and then the game after that is Metalhead. So actually, two kind of similar games back to back, but at least they'll both be relatively short. Yeah, but Guts Maze. Yeah, this whole area looks pretty guts. Okay, so let's see. So colored skulls here. So we already did the giant eagle's nest. So this one is... I'm not even sure what this one would be. Viking burial, myth of the werewolf, legend of the Darius. This might be the Darius, so we'll have to look around before committing to this one. What is this thing? Theories that it's... Oh, the Darrow. Okay, so this is the Darrow's. Uh, far more intelligent than modern humans and aided by Darrow. Detrimental robots. Okay. Darrow were the originators of the world's madness. Okay. Sure. Not sure what's up with these security cameras. Man, look at that thing. Uh, okay, so this is supposed to be yellow. Okay. Check. Did that one. Okay. All right, so now we gotta cross the tar pit. Yes. So we have another Exupi. Oh shit! Can we? Oh. 
Well, let me try. Oh, for fuck's sake. I kind of want to load my save. Because that's... That's a lot of damage. In. So apparently we can't cross that unless we... Fuck. <laughs> Select a game from the register. Alright. Let's set this to yellow. Alright. So we need a completed Exupy pot to, to deal with that one before we can do anything. So that means we have to go through that, that maze again, by the way. <laughs> In order to... Uh, We're going to have to take the maze all the way back out, too. Oh, my God. Because there's nothing else to do in that room. Oh, all right. Hold on. Is there really nothing else here? Yeah. Oh, God. Uh, okay. Yeah. There's... <laughs> cool room. Okay. This is the way out? It is. Okay. Look at that. Easy. Literal god at mazes. Okay, so... We need to know the coordinates of Atlantis here. Alright, I'm gonna try... I wanna... <laughs> I wanna actually see if this, um... If this autosave or this save hotkey actually does anything. So I'm going to move forward one, two steps here, and I'm going to load the save. Or actually. <laughs> oh, I'm going to Alt S there, turn around, and then hit restore and see where that puts us. So if it puts us in front of the door again, Select a name from the museum then the auto, the, the, the hotkey works. If it put us in the middle of the room... Okay, so the, the hotkey does work. Good. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to make my way back to the office. Because I want to... Oh, we didn't hear this yet. From a 60-foot giant squid that can pull a small fishing boat into the depths of the sea. To the 2-inch poison dart frog that carries enough poison to kill 1,500 people. Nothing is stranger than the animal kingdom. Is it any wonder that the ancients worshipped and feared these strange beasts? Okay. Alright, so the office was... This door right here? Yeah. Okay, and there was a... Newspaper clipping on the wall over here. All right, does this have cor- It does have coordinates, okay. So the coordinates are... God, I should have writ written those down. I did notice that the first time we came through here. So that's 20 and 75 Atlantis. Okay. So now that we have that, we got to go back over to the underwater section. So to do that, it was this way. In here.
Okay. And then whatever this does, I'm not sure, but sure. So it was, it would have been West 75 and then South 20. No, North 20. Hey. Okay. And that's probably Nick Zoopy Pot. Or Pot Piece. Okay. So this is a... I think that's... That's a bottom for the container? I think that that's the pot, not the head. So this is... This is like a pyramid base. Okay, so I have a separate, a separate page of notes just for these. So this is in the uh, underwater. So I think this this is the pot, and it looks like a. It's not a pyramid, but it's a. Uh, let's say Aztec temple. And it's got the, it's a square top, and it's got this symbol on it that looks like, that, and then it's got this little tail thing, and then, sure, sure, that looks about right. So those markings actually do have significance, if I remember correctly. Okay, and we're just, we're just going to put that back because we can only carry one thing at a time. Nope. Oh, jeez. So that's main floor, second floor, third floor. Oh, God. Okay. All right, we're going to get out our, our good old Polaroid camera here and I'll have to import this into... the notes section for next time. And of course my camera just turned everything blue because it's on an OLED. Eh. Basement. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, well, the uh, I don't know if you if you saw the amazing opening to this game, Ed, but we are we are uh, a teenager who was uh, dared to spend the night in this spooky uh, spooky abandoned museum uh, by our our cool and hip uh, set of friends and. I don't think we actually get anything for winning the dare. And our friends also know full well that people have been murdered inside this this museum before. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the opening cutscene to the game. It's pretty good. Yep, not even a radio contest like, hey, drink drink four gallons of water in 60 seconds. thought you were hardcore. You have stepped into the world of amazing plants. For centuries, plants have been used to beautify man's surroundings, for food, shelter, and to heal the sick. And like Socrates, who was executed by drinking poison hemlock, man has discovered plants have a lethal side too. Okay. Save there. All right, plants. We got we got these dudes. Yeah. It's been a while since we've we've had a, a puzzle. Yeah. So we 
get these things. That looks like a puzzle over there. Okay. There we go. That, that looks like a puzzle. Alright. So we probably have to bring those things over here. Are all of these? Okay. It's just that one, I guess. Okay, so this is... So that's probably the top? Or no, no, that's that's a, that's a pot base. Okay, and this one is triangular? Okay, so this one is a pot, and it's in the plant room? And then it is triangular, and the symbol on it is like that. It's got the those things, that, that, and then sure. Sure. Don't worry to play Juggernaut again. That is on the to-do list. We will do that at some point in the future. Uh, I can't remember if Juggernaut was a 480i game. So I, I mentioned earlier in the stream that there is a new OSSC uh, in the works. All right, we're going to put that back where it is. There's a new OSSC in the works called the OSSC Pro, and um, it'll allow like really good capture and streaming of interlaced video, which is the higher resolution, but like it, it's the wobbly picture that you might've noticed before. Um, and the OSC Pro will solve the wobbly picture problem and make it, make it look really good. Uh, so whenever that comes out, then we'll, we'll have me way more options and, and I'll be streaming more stuff like PS2 more PS2 games at that point, because all PS2 games are pretty much 480i and have the wobbly video. Uh, so that's that's why my uh, my choice of, of backlog games is kind of dictated by, by stuff like that. But that is on the to-do list. Okay, I guess there's nothing else to do in there. Okay. Do my PS2 games? Yep. Yep, I know. I know. Wait, can we we can climb up? Okay. Sure. This is probably an to be point. Like there there's a PS2 game that is on the Yeah, Lifeline is one of them. Lifeline is on the to-do list. Uh another one would be um uh Shadow of Memories, aka Shadow of Shadow of something. It's it's a very early like PS2 launch game made by Konami, like adventure game. That uh, I got it when it came out. Oh, there's the hatchet. Okay, well that sure. So there's the missing hatchet from the the work area. Okay, this door here leads to the library, but that's um. That ain't gonna help. Yeah, PS too many. Yeah, there's uh, I have a bit over a thousand in the the PS2 Hot for TV lineup. Okay, I think that's the front door. Actually, come to think of it, that makes the same sound as the front door did. Oh man, look at that incredible T-Rex over there. Okay, that is definitely an Igzoopy. Oh, I need... Shit, I need to... R write down Igzoopy locations as well. Alright, Igzoopy, there was one in the... Uh... uh it was like the, the underground lava room. Let's say lava room. 
And then this one is main exupi main hall 2F chandelier. Okay. So we've run across uh, three Exupi so far. One in the office fireplace. One in the lava room. One in the main hall. So that's three. There's ten in the game. So there's still ten more that we haven't found yet. Time machine to fix the back. Like, yeah, probably. Probably. Though, though we're making good progress on PS Explosion. So... So who knows? Okay, that's the same. This must be the Exupi room. Because that's the same symbol as the Exupi. Yeah, so this is the place where we, we deposit the Exupi. Tomb 49, 13 Exupi in this exhibit, undisturbed. Expect power, never break their seals and release. <laughs> yeah, well, too late. Too late on that one. Okay. All right, we'll go in there later. So this is... This is the Tomb of the Exupi, which is green. Okay. Okay, check. All right. Alt S, save. Okay. I think that's... I can't remember what door we came in from. Okay. Yep, this is all... Yep. So that's where we put them when we're done with them. Uh, okay. Six hands watch. Search and you may learn wisdom from these ancient lips. Okay, we'll probably have to, to touch the lips or oh god, or just do that. I the heretics that lay beyond have driven out all of the gods save eight. So begins Egypt's decline. If thou art wise, thou shalt know that the names of this pharaoh and his queen be placed forever in shame on the columns of Ra. Okay, so in the the ancient Egypt book, there were the names of a bunch of kings and queens. So I need to... The heretics that lay beyond have driven out all of the gods. That lay saved. beyond, okay. So... Okay. I don't know who lays in there, though. That's the problem. Uh, so there's probably a plaque somewhere for... for who's in there? Much of what we know about early man comes from burial sites, but not without a price. Eternal life was the sustaining ideology for many ancient cultures, and they went to great lengths to prevent their dead from being violated. Venture on if you will, but beware the curse of the tomb. The curse of the tomb. Did I write him down? No, I didn't write him down, but I have my trusty Polaroid camera <laughs> that I took, I took photos of that book. Uh... God, I, I really don't want to brute force it though, but it's it's probably. Oh God, oh God. 
I, oh God. Uh, all right, well, we'll return to that. So, uh, so maybe it says over here who they are. First of Anubis. Originator of embalming. Curse of the tomb. Okay. Okay, there's no... Zoopy here. It, uh, it doesn't say who is entombed, though. So... I probably have to brute force this. Okay, so... So Nefertiti is... None of those. Okay. So... Ak Akunantin? Amen Hotop? His wife is Nefertiti, so that would be... This, this, and that. Okay, so that's Akunanten. And then maybe if we set this to Nefertiti. All right, there's that, that, and then that. Okay, all right. Did it. So there's another thing that you needed to have written down or memorized or whatever. Okay. So this is a pot and it is okay so this is a this is a pot and it was in uh let's say burial chamber and it is like that and that shaped. And the symbol on it is that. The line. Sure. Okay. Put that back where it is. So I don't think we've run across any uh, pot lids that um, that match that. So we we still found nothing but pots so far, no lids. Okay. All right. So what's what's over here? That's just that. All right, so now we can we can tackle this puzzle up here. So these puzzles are randomized every time. Oh god. Okay, so this is So that can only go like that. That can only go like that. That likely goes there. Okay. Okay.
Burial customs throughout the world arise from the belief that the survivors can secure life after death. Wait, the eight stabs so far? You will find here that man has conceived of many ways to honor the dead. I, if I remember correctly, it's been like 20 years, but I think this is where one of the real ballbuster puzzles is. Like, I, I seem to recall this area just completely driving me crazy. Trying to do one of the puzzles. Okay, so this is... Uh, probably Viking burial, I'm guessing, and that's blue. There, there even is a blue switch on it, so it's like I don't know why I even wrote that down. Okay, apparently that one is that, that looked purple to me, but sure thing. Viking burial, check. So we only have two other, two other skull switches to find. Norse burial ship, wooden armor, sure. Okay. All right, what's in here? This looks like an exupy spot. Moving to bar, I decided to record my thoughts in the journal. So this is this is probably the the kids from 1980s that were caught in here. Opening soon, can't wait. Museum will never open. Yep. Okay. Yep, so far nothing important. Beth doesn't know it. Fall into the museum, yep. Gazebo, bridge, went to the ground, cool. Bummer. I still don't see anything of use in the game. Uh huh. Yep. Oh, rope ladder. Here's the schedule. Explore the museum for two hours. Sure. Very odd, yep. Uh, secret passages. Beth is dead. All the doors are locked. Find the pots. Well, okay, that didn't tell me anything. Great. Oh, jeez. Uh... alert, I guess. That, that's probably an Ixupi spot. That's also probably an Ixupi spot. Hey, there's a Jade Skull. Okay. So that's that's a Jade Skull from the... That's supposed to be in the main hall, or the entrance hall. Coffins of Ghana. Okay. Man, look at that thing. Hindus the Bali. Okay. Neat. Okay, so here's just a bunch of ashes. Assuming there's nothing else really here. I think there was there was a, a secret passageway somewhere that we already passed by, but I forgot where it was. So rip that. Uh, 
You are now in the world of the shaman, or witch doctor, whose purpose is to act as intermediary for gods and men. The shaman acts as doctor, frightening evil spirits away from the sick, or officiating in the practice of human sacrifice to pacify angry gods. Well, that's an exupy. <laughs> All right, we're gonna save scum that because I select I'm a, a game a from huge the register. Dish. Okay, so this is there's an exupy, and it's in the witch doctor room. Witch doctor. know the the melody yet though so we gotta find that somewhere I don't recall seeing any anything written down for those okay, that's, that's probably how we open the door is to do the drum beat properly. Okay, there's, it probably says on that plaque over there. Wax images by slowly tearing off their limbs. Okay. Okay, that's, that's the door we came in from, I think. dead end here unless there's a I don't see that anything that obviously looks like a switch to open that so it's got to be based off of the drums but Is, so we got another music puzzle. So 
So this is... Uh, like that. 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 Sure. Okay, so if we... So this is... So that's... Ram, and that's Bow. Okay. Alright, so this is... Ram... Bo, ba, ta, ba, ta, ba, bo, ba. No. Huh. Okay. Maybe maybe these are the same same notes, I guess. Uh Huh, I don't I don't see anything that Like maybe maybe the second one is actually like here rather than at the bottom. I guess I can give that a go. Okay. So yeah, I've heard a bunch of different heights, so I I I don't know. Uh Okay. Get that reset. Shit, I clicked the wrong one. Ah, shit. I don't think that was right anyways, but... Well, that... That, that didn't seem to do anything. I, huh. Maybe I'm supposed to in interact with these? Oh, it doesn't let me interact with them, so. Maybe I have it reversed? Maybe like these are the low ones and these are the high ones? So, okay. And this is RAM. Crackly audio is pretty good. Oh. 
Huh? The, huh. This. It feels like I'm doing it correctly. Like this. Like maybe. Okay, maybe I should treat these as the same note. Maybe that's what I'm doing wrong. And then this one is is a different one, and then these are the same. So the lines are like like this. Like maybe it's it's like that, perhaps. This, this would be here, then. Okay, I'm going to give that a go. Okay, so... No. No. I I don't suppose this the skull on the mask has anything to do with anything. Because huh. usually to open these, it's it's almost always been a switch on the wall. I don't see any environmental clues. Like over here. It, it's got to be based on those skulls. But... Maybe I... Like... Like these... These here... Are clearly the same height. Do I have the correct amount of notes, by the way? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine notes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, I'm missing a note. I'm missing a note. All right. Oh, God. I'm missing a note. Unless I'm miscounting. All right, hold up. One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then in here, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I do have nine. Okay. So I'm not missing a note. So one is clearly at the, the highest note, two is 
likely a low note. And then it's it's three, four, and five. Those are the ones I'm not sure about. If those are the same note or different ones in the for note four. Um, note six is clearly different from the others. Yeah, my I'm pretty sure my notation is correct there. Huh. So it's just got to be my Taba Rambo. I'm probably just hitting the wrong drum for. Okay, not that. Not that. Oh my god, this puzzle. Holy shit. Oh, that's not it either. Oh, oh my God. Oh my god, this puzzle. Oh, okay. Alright, that puzzle's defeated me. Alright. Is there anywhere else around here? So there was there's a door, a sliding door somewhere in the wall. I think it was up up in here. Yeah, it's over here and off to the left. Okay. Get another hot remix. at a time. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. Okay. Fuck. 
Oh my god. Okay. horse face somewhere. Like, it's, it's that, maybe? Okay. Probably needs to get rotated like this. And this goes like that. Okay. And this goes like that. This gets rotated like this. Okay. This is probably there. looks fine, I think. So it's just these two that need to be moved and rotated. Hey! We did it. Okay. something. Change percent self-knowledge is not always reliable. Okay. That's really bad.
This is probably the in-game hint mechanism, I guess. Oh, there's another... Oh, shit! You too. They're everywhere. There's nowhere to hide. Find the black book. The, the black book. I did find her black book. It was in the underground area. Sure. All right. Well, that's that's one that we aren't looking for now. track is pretty good. So we haven't used the flashback function yet, and I'm curious what that does. So I think that... Care to refresh your memory? Okay, so this just shows you... Yo, you can... Oh, man! Oh, that's so useful! Okay. Interesting. So you can... Okay. The bla We've seen the black book already? Or this is the... That's the black book. Okay, so we did find the black book. I'm not... I'm not sure what that does for anything. But yeah, if you want to see the incredible intro again. <laughs> There's the incredible intro again. Shimmers. This stair was kind of your idea, you know. But I'm glad I'm me out here and not you in there. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've heard those same loving words before. Like the time you guys dared me to spend the night at that cemetery. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, if you die in the museum tonight, I'll make sure she gives a eulogy at your funeral. <laughs> we never would have made you spend the night here if you hadn't uh, talked about this place so much. Yeah, we thought you'd been kind of, well, obsessed, thinking you hearing voices and stuff coming from the museum and all. <laughs> Too weird for me. Hey, you know, maybe they're the voices of those kids who disappeared 15 uh -huh. years ago. Right, 15 years ago. Right, the police ago. never found the bodies. Or the killer. Yeah. So this takes place and in my 1995. Sister, you know, Julie, the one in college, says Professor Windelnuck went insane. He viciously murdered them and then buried their bodies in the basement of the museum. Uh -huh. Well, what if he's hiding in that creepy museum right now, just waiting for another victim? Yeah, and the ghost of his victims are calling out, <laughs> warning you. <laughs> ring, ring. Hello? I think it's for you. <laughs> Get out. Get out. That was just a dog howling. There was something more than that. Well, I didn't hear anything. I think this place is just getting us all spooked. Uh, are you sure you want to go through with this? You could back out at any time. But of course, if you did, you'd probably never live down the chicken jokes. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> You'll be all right. Come on, I don't want to be late for the movie. We'll be back at dawn to let you out. Bye-bye. Bye. See ya. Later. So there you go. That That's the premise for this game. You're on a dare from the fellow kids. That will call for tonight. <sighs> All right. So, cut the timer there. Two and a half hours of the shivers. All right. So, tonight we uh, we finished up PS Explosion number 200, which was Rhapsody. That game was pretty, pretty cool. Pretty neat game. I gave it a four to five. Uh... It is very easy, but it was a, a quite nice, um, short little strategy RPG. 
Though it's it's barely a strategy RPG, it's more of just a regular RPG. Uh, the next PS Explosion game is uh, a game called Gunship, and it is a uh, this is a, a what I would describe as a neckbeard simulation game. Like this is. This is uh, probably as close as you're going to get to a, like, DOS early 90s flight sim, combat flight sim on, on PlayStation. Like, this is one of those games that uses every single button on the, the regular controller, and then if you hold down the select button, every single other button does something else. Uh, and you can, like, turn off the the, the, the whirly things, the helicopter helicoptery things up there. Uh, you have like a full mission planner, your fuel adds weight or something, and fuck man, it's like, I don't know. There's also an arcade mode, so, um, yeah, like, like a less fun G police. Yeah, that sounds about right. Um, so yeah, there, there's an arcade mode, which, uh, which apparently does away with a lot of the simulation bullshit. And then there's a full, super long campaign, apparently. Uh, for the game as well. I'm not sure how much of that game we're actually going to see because I'm probably going to get real tired of it. Uh, especially because this game doesn't uh, support uh, any sort of uh, cool controller. Like, if I could play this with the, the cool dual joystick controller, then sure, I might give this more time, but... Oh, man. And then the, the game after this is a game called Metalhead. Uh, the... You're okay. Well, you'll have to take my word for it. Machine. Oh, machine head. That's that's it. Oh, God. Thousand arms. Sure. <laughs> okay. Machine head is uh, the game after that. So, uh, Peace Explosion 201 is uh, Gunship. 202 is Machine Head. This is a uh, first person shooter, but it's like a first person tank shooter, kind of. Uh, and this one's also going to be pretty short. So, we got uh, two pretty short things coming up in. PS explosion uh still probably gonna be maybe another week or so before steel battalion gets done because i i'm again i'm using the desk that i would use for steel battalion for other things right now uh and of course shivers will continue not sure how much of that uh that game uh coming up but who knows and then as far as the next backlog game after shivers I, I'm still undecided. It might be uh, another Poker Man game. It might be something else. I don't know. We'll uh, we'll see the closer we get to that, though. All right, but that'll do it for tonight. Thank you all for watching. Hope you all have a great day, night, morning, or evening, wherever you are. Have a good one. Take care. And I am clicking in the wrong menu here. Thank you for watching.